at Dirt Bikes, White ATVs, Hot Pink Scooters. Today I'm driving one color a pocket bike for the next 24 hours. Let's start out with one of my favorites, the blue mini bike. There it is, new package. CC two stroke. Yeah. This is gonna be so much power in a 52 cc. 52 cc. It's the Mototech Phantom 52 cc pocket bike, two stroke. I'm so excited to see the form factor of this one. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, no, oh, I see. That is a good way to do it. Yeah. Here we go. Official unboxing. Well, I still can't see anything. Oh, yes. Oh, it looks kind of big. It looks just as big as the other ones. You can definitely sit on the back. Yeah, it looks about the same size. It looks really cool, guys, as far as I can tell. It's smaller than this one. These ones are kind of sit high, so the gas tank is in the shape of a muffler. Yeah, I thought it was the muffler at first. Oh, yes. I love the color. I was going to get blue. pink. I was going to get hot pink. <laughs> I decided to go blue because these ones were pink. We can get a sense of how fast they go based on the sprocket size, but it's also a two-stroke, so RPMs might be different. That's it's a big slightly. sprocket. It's a bigger engine, too. 50, yeah, and a two-stroke. So this thing should potentially be way, way faster than the other ones we have. So the handlebars need to be turned out. They're not too hard to put together. It almost looks like it might be longer wheelbase. This thing's huge. It's plastic and solid, but yeah, once you sit down and crunch it, you're on the metal. Foot pegs. <laughs> Give you an idea of size. This product, I think, only had one or two stars. Oh, dude, I can, I can ride this thing no problem. Is it a daily? Absolute daily driver. <laughs> is this your new daily to, to I, work and back? Yeah, this is, I'm gonna take this back to Virginia. <laughs> just road trip it. You're just gonna go on down. Dumb and dumber. Vegas. It's just like dumb and dumber. You get two people on there. Here it is. It's all set up and ready to go. We're gonna take it for the first drive. I think it's ready to go. Oh, it's warmed up for you. It sounds good. Oh my gosh, look at our team. I think I know what's in this one, and this is so exciting. Oh, it's heavy. Look at that. Oh my gosh, be careful. Alright guys, let's let the unboxing begin. It looks like it's actually already unboxed. So... This was the right box. As soon as you guys think you know what it is, and I guess you might have seen the thumbnail, so. But comment down below as soon as you think you know what this is, because this is so cool. I guess I just gotta lift it all out. Yes. Oh, it's pink. <laughs> it's amazing. And it's so small. We're missing a front tire. Uh oh. It's in here. Yeah, it is, okay. It doesn't look like there's too much assembly required which is great, which means we can get riding super quick. All right, so we're done with the box. So here it is, guys. It's a pink scooter or pink moped or Vespa or whatever these things are called. This is so cool, a little moped. Totally your style, too. Yeah, it's pink. I mean, you know I like pink. I got pink on the Lambo back there. Oh, yeah. Pink is a pretty cool color. A lot of people think that pink is a girl's color, which it kind of is, but I think it's also a very cool color, especially the green. Oh, it's got tassels. Dude, look, it's even got a headlight. No that way. Works? No, I don't think so. Nah. <clears throat> Didn't read the instructions or anything, but I think it's pretty straightforward. Finger tight's good enough, right? <laughs> so what about a charger? Oh yeah, you know what? This probably pops open. Yeah. <clears throat> Should probably read the instructions. <laughs> Hey, there they are. <laughs> well, we needed instructions to find the instructions. <laughs> All right. There's the owner's manual. <clears throat> you don't need that. And there are tools. Okay, great. And a charger. This thing, I think, is gonna rip pretty fast. If not, we'll make it fast. <laughs> <laughs> so excited. <laughs> I think modding this to make it go like really fast would be sick. Yeah. Putting the drifter car motor in this. <laughs> Oh, it'll happen. <laughs> if any of them should go fast, it should be this one. <laughs> this is what would be hilarious. That kickstand's pretty nice. We can try and turn it. 
before even putting it on the ground. Yeah, let's do that. We gotta peel off the tape. Oh, we are on. All right, let's get a nice rev with the back tire. Oh yeah, she's spinning. <laughs> All right, oh, well, here we go. It's that good form factor, it's very comfortable. <laughs> I will say, like, it's small, but like, I fit in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you can tell it already has a ton of power. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, this is, this is better than the dirt bike. This thing is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get That's a couple sick. of things go really fast. <laughs> and they're electric, it's like, they're like bikes, you can road trip them around. <laughs> this would be hilarious. Could you imagine going through the neighborhood on these? <laughs> Yeah, Our whole crew with the tassels. Oh my gosh, those are so sick. I am, I'm actually, I really like this thing. All right, time for a top speed test. Yeah. Let's hit the road. Oh man, it's so cool. <laughs> he can't make it up the hill. <laughs> He's literally out of power. He has to zigzag in order to make it up the hill at this point. That's so funny. Well, the good thing is, he's gonna have a lot of speed when he comes back down. Here he comes. I hear the, I hear the bell. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> it's not a pass when you go downhill. I love the tassels. It's pretty cool. You want to try it? <laughs> sure. <laughs> it says sweet pea on the back. <laughs> I got to say, you know, out of all the unboxing and different go-karts and stuff, I'm having so much fun on this. It's comfortable. Unlike the pocket bikes and the little like Razor uh, dirt bikes that we have, this one, it's like, you know, it's it's fun. It's it gets comfortable to sit on, and I think, well, one we got to charge. I think the battery is low, and two, we can easily upgrade it. Just like the drifter cart, we can make this thing go way faster. We can probably make it do wheelies, burnouts, and it'd be hilarious to then road trip this all the way across to LA from here to maybe like Liz's house or Liz's, just or like some I don't know, maybe take it to the beach or something. Here we go. Where is he? Oh, there he goes, I hear the bell. Oh, he's gonna come flying around that corner. Yes, there he is. Oh you my God. Flying. <laughs> That's so funny, guys. <laughs> Something about it being a little pink, like girly moped makes it so much fun, especially if we modify it and we make it go like super fast. We could be like racing it down the road, keeping up with traffic and stuff. I think we need another one. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's so nice. <laughs> it's comfortable, right? It is an absolute road trip machine. <laughs> so guys, here is the full tour. Tons of storage space underneath the seat. The seat closes. And here is the full look around on this thing. I think it's a road trip machine. I think if we mod it, it's gonna go so fast that we can actually do like a really cool video with it. It's got a great kickstand. The wheel comes up, the tassels are hilarious. I think it's awesome. We could even mod the this to be real, just drill from like, put a little hole in an LED in there. It's got everything else it needs. Yeah. The reflector and the cap. Yeah. Just put a little bulb in there, make it actually functional. Let's see if you can make it in the, uh, up the driveway. Here we go, yeah. <laughs> Full speed, go, go, go. That still counts, you made it. <laughs> I think we gotta get more. Yes, we unboxed another one, guys. Look at this. It's so funny. <laughs> can you even see it under me? <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're floating. Andrew's basically floating. This is the other thing that we unboxed, guys, and it's so small. <laughs> Look at this thing. Whoa! <laughs> Look at it rip. <laughs> wait, wait. Burn out, it just polishes the <laughs> Dude, it looks freakishly small next to you. It's so funny. Here we go. Oh. All right. So we gotta make this go really fast. Yeah. Yeah, I'm surprisingly comfortable. <laughs> This is awesome. Lisa, let's go do a speed test. <laughs> yeah. I'm flying. This is so fast. Woo! Yeah. Do a wheelie. Yeah, it's pretty fast downhill. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Very comfortable. Yeah, it's, it's more comfortable than our other pocket bikes for some reason. It's great. Yeah. And it's smaller. Yeah, and the best part. <laughs> the best part is you just pick it up and carry it with you. <laughs> Literally put it in your pocket. Well, you could, all right, so the motor is mounted to this. So you could possibly flip it and mount it on the other side where the batteries are and get rid of the batteries there. Oh, mount it back here? Yeah, and then extend the chain. 
to reach the motor on this side. Yeah. Because this side is wide open, so you could fit a fat motor in the middle. Yeah. And then find some place for batteries, maybe like in here, like cut this off and put the batteries here or something. It's so quiet. I'm just coasting right now. <laughs> You guys know I love motorcycles and I've owned so many fast and expensive bikes over the years, but today I'm buying the cheapest and most expensive mini motorcycles from Amazon and I'll let you know which ones you guys should get. Here we go, straight from Amazon. We have the cheapest gas powered ATV that money can buy. I have what is called the X-Pro Storm. It's a 125cc ATV. I paid $879, which isn't super cheap, but for an ATV with front and rear suspension, gas powered, disc brakes, we're gonna put it all to the test and see if it's worth it. It's one of the cheapest and smallest ATVs that you can buy, so let's unbox it. Just the crate that it came in is solid, it's pretty impressive. Ooh, I got the first piece. Look at this. Look at the quality. Solid steel. This thing might actually be pretty legit. It might become my daily driver. Oh, oh, ah. Oh my gosh, we're getting close. I'm so excited to see what this thing looks like. So they really have this thing packaged up. They're gonna make you work for it. Oh, is that a wheel? Check this out. Yes. So I got the orange. They come in different colors, but I got the orange. I think that looks pretty sick. Check it out, okay. The front's cool, but I'm starting to think this looks like a toy. Look at that, look at the suspension under here. Oh, it definitely has the same engine as the Mini Jeep. That engine in there is like a pit bike motor. This thing could be super sick. I wonder if it's got gears, I can't remember. One more tire, roll it out. <gasps> no way, it's got a shifter on the foot. Look at this, you can upshift, but it's got a heel shifter too. That's interesting, I've never rode in anything that shifts like that. Instead of having to push up, you can stomp backwards so you don't have to use your toe. Oh, here's the battery. I didn't read anything. I saw 125cc, I saw Amazon Prime, and we ordered it. This thing could be super sick. It's gonna be electric start, too. It's a little bit heavy. Go a little to your right. Okay. I got it on something. This is the most important part of the entire thing. Go juice right here. That's liquid gold. Mm -hmm. This is the last piece, and then it's um, test drive time. Test time. Time to power this thing up. We got light, kill switch on to run. It started up really well, that was awesome. Oh my gosh, just all the throttle you get. I mean, it sounds good. Uh, my throttle is so limited. It's gonna I can't be so it right. slow. Whoa. That's full throttle. I'm full throttle right now. It's so slow. This is as fast as it goes. We can't even go outside, we gotta fix this. We need to take the governor off. This thing is so slow, and I think it's because this piece right here is like a, a child lock safety governor. So we need to take that out, unscrew it, and I think it's gonna allow us to rev the engine higher, because I'm stuck, and that's all I can do, but it should push way further. We literally put glue on that. We just want it out, it seems like. Take two, with no limiter. Oh! Only has one gear. 
Oh my gosh, I thought I was in first the whole time. It only has forward, neutral, and reverse. It doesn't have other gears. It's just one gear. Okay, so let's see how fast it goes. That's why it's geared so high. Here we go. Let's go. Yeah. It only has one gear. Let's see if it can ride on two wheels. Yeah. Oh, it's great, it's like a bike. We are now gonna try some off-road tests. The next test we're gonna do is an off-road test. I'm gonna go easy on it. I'm gonna do just a little bit of off-road because I think the gearing, since it only has one drive gear, it's not even gonna be able to get me through what's in front of me, which isn't much. It's a little hill, it's flat, and then it's down, and then hill, and then hill. It's kind of like three ditches. Let's see what it can do. Here we go. I don't think it's going to work, but three, two, one, off-road test. Oh, it did it. It climbed. Okay. And... All right, it actually did pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. That was a super, super easy test. I mean, that's like hills that you'd find in anybody's backyard. So we're gonna have to try something bigger, but I doubt it's gonna be able to do with the T-Mar Hill Club. We gotta figure out how fast this thing is gonna go. And so next to us, we have Matt on the Bugatti scooter. This thing is fast and it has a digital readout for miles an hour. So we're gonna be able to see exactly how fast this thing can go. It says it should go 24 miles an hour and I wanna make sure that it does or I want my money back. So let's put it to the test. Great. Top speed test, Bugatti versus X-Pro. Three, two, one, go. Oh, he's off to a good start. How fast? 10? 15? 20! Oh! Matt went 20. I went faster, so I think this thing probably does go 24 miles an hour. It might actually go faster. It's time for the next test. We're driving across the Team Rar house. We're going from the garages up to the island or the peninsula. And that is where the biggest hill climb is. But while we're doing that, we're gonna go ahead and test and see how well it does on a dirt trail. It seems like it's doing pretty good. Um, you know, it's not super loud. It's a pretty smooth ride. So I would say this is a pretty good daily. It's very comfortable. We're gonna now do a little bit of a hill right here with some roots and bumps and oh, it is a little bit bumpy. Oh, oh, oh gosh, that suspension's a little rough. Oh, it's shaking my stomach up a little bit. Definitely leaves something to be desired, I gotta say. Oh gosh, going across the bridge and we are now here at the top of the steepest hills that we have in the team row house. And these things are super, super steep. These things literally look like a half pipe that you're dropping into. We use this a lot for all of our testing and not every vehicle can climb it. And I'm worried that this vehicle, this little ATV isn't gonna make it. Maybe with speed it will, let's find out. I'm gonna go the hardest possible route, which is up the steepest right here. Oh yeah, this is gonna struggle. All right, this is a little bit of a brake test on the way down. Oh! and a climb, it actually did pretty good. So now we're gonna go down the steepest part over here by the Lego castle and bring it straight down, whoa! This is what I'm curious, so this is literally a grass wall. A lot of things cannot climb this. We're gonna see if this, I'm gonna go with a little bit of speed at first. From here, a little bit of run up, here we go, three, two, one. Here we go. I think I got it. Oh, just barely. Oh my gosh, just barely did I make it. I didn't think this thing was gonna be able to do it. I guarantee you can't do this though. Oh. I'm not gonna be able to do it, so that is the limit. The ATV passed the hill climb test with flying colors, but it does have a limitation. Because it only has one drive gear, you can't shift into second and third like the mini Jeep, so you do lose some torque. With a little bit of speed, it can climb just about anything though. On to the next pass, let's go. Because this ATV is so small, we're gonna be trying to drive it indoors and do the inside driving test. So here we go, pull it up to the back of the house. Easy, onto the ramp. Yes. Look at all the room for activities. This is great. ATV in the house. Hi, Elena. What is that thing? World's smallest ATV. Time for a high speed test all the way down. Here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa! 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 Yo, that was the fastest 
since I've ever been inside my own house. I would say this ATV definitely passes the house test. I was able to navigate the kitchen, the hallway, everywhere, and I can park it right next to the Lambo. And this was really hard to get into the house. I'll show you a little few clips, but we had to do like a bunch of turns. We had to put carpets and stuff down because the tires are so grippy and sticky. I didn't want to damage the floor. But this ATV is way easier and way more drivable in your own house. So definitely tell your mom and dad, if you guys get one of these, you should be driving it in the kitchen, just like me. We came in the back door. Let's see if we can go out the front door. Uh, oh, it's a stair challenge. Oh, it works. Oh, this is awesome. Three, two, one. In the front door, out the back. So far we've tested this ATV on the road. We've tested it in my house, but now we need to see how well it does off-road. So let's go to the field and then let's take it into the mud. Here we go. Big hill climb. Oh! We are here at the Team Rar field, the backyard. And so we're gonna be doing another speed test because Top speed on pavement does not always equal top speed off-road because the grass bumps and other factors make it go slower. Most of the time you're driving this off-road, so let's see how fast you can realistically go on mowed grass. High speed test in three, two, one. This test was a huge success because we were able to go exactly 24 miles an hour, which is what the Amazon listing says. It says it goes 24 miles an hour and we were able to do it on road and off road. On to the next test. Sport quads are known for their jumping capabilities. So let's see if this tiny sport quad can get any air. Full speed. Oh, I jumped it. I gotta say that was actually really impressive. I'm gonna try to go even faster and see if I can pop off a little higher. I didn't think this thing would even go fast enough to get air, but we actually popped off twice. I got probably, what, two inches maybe? Yeah, about two, that was sick, bro. Yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing now? <laughs> I'm vlogging. <laughs> What'd you get? Yeah. Oh, where'd you get that? Um, at the uh, thrift shop. <laughs> you paid for it? I did. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it goes to the hospital. Let's see if my mom can ride a bike. I haven't seen my mom ride a bike in a long time. Let's see if she can do it. It has the step through, which is yeah, that's what I need. nice. Yeah. All right. Got a big gear. I just gotta go a little faster. Yeah, wow, look at you. Yeah, there it goes. See, it's just nice. Woo. Wow, the, today is the day for everyone to ride Whoa. everything. You think you're gonna tow the dogs around? Yeah, I'm gonna tow them. But I see the brakes are. <laughs> Whoa. Woo. You're doing good. And I just lost some trash in the trash there. No. No. <laughs> we're gonna pull their. Oh, just. <laughs> Yeah, those are great. Here, I'll, you got it? Yeah. Okay. Does your mom go through other people's trash and collect little things that they need? Like pots, because she's doing some yard work. I don't know. It's just so funny. These are perfect. <laughs> she's so happy. I'm so happy. Come see my uh, garden I'm making. <laughs> What's up, guys? We are backing up this massive trailer, as you guys can see. We got two bikes in the back. This is Matt's trailer and his truck. I guess I'm not really helping because I'm vlogging, but we almost went off the side. We're loading up everything, so we got a big day ahead of us tomorrow where we're going off-roading, which I'm really excited for. Matt's doing a really great job. I gotta say, I've never actually been on a moving trailer like this, but it's really cool, and this trailer is really big. We got uh, my bike on the right, one of the small ones. That was actually Liz's bike, and then his huge KTM right there. And we are rolling down to my parents' house, and we're gonna be loading up a couple more toys here. We got the ATV and the other dirt bike. If I walk the same speed it's moving, then I'll stand still. Look at that. Whoa, that's really cool. Look at the size of that. This is almost as long as the limo and boat setup. We got the ATV, we're loading this one up now. Woo, this trailer is so big I could do laps. We got another one up on here. We could put the Jeep on the back. Yeah. All right, well now we got just the, the little bike to put on one heck of a setup and one awesome day tomorrow guys i haven't been riding in like years we used to do this all the time growing up but uh it's been a long time well actually we've done it in california but we haven't done it 
I'm also thinking this might be our best rig. Love that road tripper. An important part of loading up your ATVs and dirt bikes onto a trailer is tying them down safely so when they're driving on the highway, things are gonna be good to go and nothing's gonna shift or fall off or come loose. So finding good uh, tie points like that, strapping it down securely, but if the ATV shifts forward a little bit, these will become slack and the ATV could fall off. So having another tie point on the back is also very important. Here is the setup during the day. You can see it in all its glory. We're packing up, we're about to hit the road. Two bikes in the front, quad and another bike in the back. Otter, we're gonna be gone all day. Don't miss me. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Loading up. Making a pit stop. We are just about five minutes away from riding. I can't wait to be taking a little 80 out. It's gonna, be, it's gonna absolutely rip as long as it can stay in one piece. We finally made it, it's about an hour and a half drive. Now it's time to unload everything and then go ride. We got that started, my dad's on the ATV. Matt's got the 500, I'm going on the little 80. Bike died. It just doesn't even. It has no spark. Do we have something we can pull the spark plug out with? Do we have an adjustable wrench? This is some uh, really difficult terrain. It looks easy here. Way back there, it was just like straight rocky, muddy, really tough terrain. The black diamond level, difficult. Riding. Look at this, this is some black diamond terrain right here. The ATV can barely make it. I want to show you what we've been riding through. This is the most challenging thing I've ever done. So difficult. Here comes the ATV. Dude, look at these rocks. Man, look at this terrain. This is what we rode over. Keep in mind, I'm a novice. I haven't ridden a dirt bike in years. <laughs> oh my gosh. This poor ATV. I mean, our, our whole fleet just took a beating today. Yep. Maybe not the 500. Oh, the 500 is doing damn <laughs> Matt's bike, perfect. I bent my shifter peg. ATV flipped earlier. Carter's bike is barely running. Oh my gosh. There's an obstacle coming up I'm worried about with the ATV. Do you think you can move this straight? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, no, it's so hard. All right, stand back, it might crack now. Okay. Uh, it doesn't even, it's just like scraping it. There's no way. It's just a mark. All right, so we're trying to get the ATV through. We can't make it through this gap with this big tree. Try moving it. So, now we made a side path. This is not good. Careful. Yeah. Good, good catch. Well, winch it up, I think. There you go, that's good. Little bits at a time, little bits at a time. Yeah, that looks great. Nice work. Is it running okay? All right, we gotta pull the clutch in. Yeah. You can do it without throttle. All right, so pull it all the way in. Okay. And then click down. So now you're in. Yeah, click. Now you're in gear, so slowly release that. Okay, this is my brake. Uh, sort of, yeah. 
like this is a brake, that's a brake. So if you slow, like if you release it, like let me show you on this side, like if you're pulling like this, you want to like go like that. Yeah. Okay, well let's see what happens. No. Like you'll feel it start to connect. Once it starts to connect, you might want to give it throttle and you're going to drive away. Yeah. Yeah, so once it starts connecting, you want to go like, like that much, like a little tiny bit. Yeah. And then this is your kill switch. You just hold that and it'll kill if you hold it long enough. Yeah. she knows how to stop oh oh are you trying to shift yeah yeah i was about to shift to second yeah oh wow so it's too slow at one, right. I think. yeah it's too slow at one so then all you have to do when you're driving then just pull, pull this in shift up and then drop it okay. second is up so you gotta get your toe under oh all of them are up all the rest are up the hardest part is getting moving okay so so easy and then once it starts to bite so you can go slower once it starts to bite let me uh, let me show you something you gotta kick it again this is what a lot of people struggle with is all right pull the clutch in yeah pull it all the way in okay all right watch this let me take this so if you give it give it a little bit of gas so you go like this now it starts to bite yeah. don't just let go yeah like keep it going like, see it biting oh. it's biting how that works you just keep riding through that section when yeah. it starts to engage because what you did is you felt it you're like oh boy time to go and you just let go and go just keep it just keep it going and just grind it through the whole way okay. and if you don't like it pull it back in and it's all right guys let's see if grace can do it she's actually riding liz's bike right now so liz was able to do it she did fall a couple times and i think grace is doing a great job too you don't really need a lot of gas all right, that's two for two. Well, she did stall at one, so two for three. But now she's gonna try a second gear. All right, Grace. Uh-oh. Nice. <laughs> you almost crashed. It's hard to turn, and it was like jerking. When you go really slow, it's hard to go slow. You wanna go a little bit faster. It was like jerking, like it was about to stall. Yeah, when it goes to stall, you're going too slow. All right, now try. Nice and easy. It's okay. Yeah, it's not gonna hurt the bike or anything. Oh, that was perfect. Yeah. I go for a second. Whoa, there she goes in second gear. Wow. Otter, they're doing good. She's just doing circles around town. You guys know here on Carter's life that we love vehicles, we love motorized things, and that's exactly what we have here. And this is no ordinary motorized vehicle. This Ooh, thing- Ooh, I'm not gonna show it, you see it. It's a Marla, baby. This thing oh. is gonna be amazing. Dude, it looks nice. Ooh, oh, it's oh really should, cool. we, should we show them right uh, now? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't spoil it, so. <laughs> Marla. Oh my gosh, dude. I will say, it looks very nice. I'm gonna block that off for you guys. Okay. Is it the Apple of Scooters? We'll see. Lamborghini? Lamborghini of Scooters? Oh, this thing is heavy. Is that like a matte black finish? Holy moly, dude. Oh, that thing. <laughs> oh. Barna. Oh. oh. Guys, this thing. So if you had come a little closer, you gotta shift. Oh, now it's time, guys. This, I mean, this is actually really impressive quality. I was not really sure what to expect. Bro, this ain't no toy scooter. <laughs> it's like a legit <laughs> boy scooter. I heard the top speed is something like 40 miles an hour or something. No, like actually. Oh, it came that. with this? It came with a nice toolkit. None of that like wow. crappy stuff. I'm impressed. I gotta say, I really didn't know what to expect other than the videos look cool. And oh. also, look at the front suspension on the scooter. Oh, bro. They give you a computer. And look at that big they coil. Give you a mini iPad. 
It comes with an iPhone. <laughs> wow. It has a NFC, I think. A NFC. Oh, yeah, NFC. Okay. NFC. I'm glad we have one of those. <laughs> I definitely know what that is. A NPC? Oh, that's you sick. Your phone. Yeah. So you got to pay every time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, it's a little, little it, mini. It's, you don't need that. Thanks. It so. is great, Varla. Sorry, we'll put a train horn on. Yeah, you're putting on the handle over here. Yeah. I don't even need to read instructions. It's so easy. This thing is going to be crazy. Isn't it 40 miles an hour top speed? <sighs> There's no way. Uh, yeah, yeah. So this is what I mean with NFC. This is your key to start it. Oh. You, this and you go, bink. That's sick. Yeah. So I'm NFC. guessing you have to like activate it or no? It's already just, it's already ready to go. You just go bing, 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 bing. Yep. NFC near field communication. I remember I read the instructions. Yeah. So the scooter, the battery's so big that it can take a long time to charge. So you have the option of plugging in two chargers at the same time right here. Oh, there's two ports. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, if you want to charge faster, you can do one or you can do two. You go double speed. Ah. Then they give us one. Minute. Hey. Hey, you are uh, you excited for this? Have been. Have been. Have what? Been. What is that? <laughs> Has been. All right. So where does it say? Now they're saying it's it goes forty five miles per hour. Earlier they're saying it's only going like forty miles per well, hour. I don't know how fast it goes. I, I I this is my first Varla. Your first. Yeah. I haven't daily one of these yet. This ain't going to be your last though. It looks Back like. To have been. Oh, there we go. That's where it is. Holy moly, guys. <laughs> this is. You're late. Yeah, has been. Oh my. God. <laughs> oh, has has been. been. Well, I'll tell you a little story. Bailey started to say it has, but yo, Bailey, you ready to go? He's like, have been. <laughs> yeah. say it all the time now. <laughs> we just got suspension and everything. I mean, this is like this is a dual Marcus motor. And so you got a motor. Marcus and Dave. You got a motor on the front, motor on the back. Wow. You got hydraulic disc brakes. It's two wheel drive. Yes, yeah, two wheel drive. Two wheel with independent suspension, front and rear. Hydraulic two wheel brakes. drive scooter, front and rear brakes, front and rear suspension. So you can off road this thing easily. Yeah, 45 oh, mile range, 45 mile per hour speed. No way. Yes. 45 miles on this is scary. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's. You could probably jump this in the I can't way. imagine 45 miles an hour on this. Yeah. <laughs> There's <laughs> no way. Beefy, though. Uh, we'll see. It's really beefy. Like, I mean, I guess this is the battery pack here. It's huge. Yeah. It is massive. Look at the instructions. It says, do not ride with one hand and zoom in on that. It's a dude with an iPhone who's filming. <laughs> it's funny because that's 100% how I'm going to absolutely be doing that today in this video. I will be vlogging and writing. <laughs> and texting and <laughs> eating and everything. Yes, we will. We're going to break every rule in this book on purpose. <laughs> Out of principle. Out of principle. It was actually a really easy unboxing and we are about to plug in the last connection right here. Okay, one more. You got, you got, this is the... There's a final, final touch to it. Here. There. Yay! Oh! All right. All right, we got 60% charge about one pass. Two pass. Oh, uh, maybe that's the power speed or something. Let me turn the light on. Oh, lights! I mean, I think it's ready to arrive. Yeah. No! <laughs> oh, I forgot you hate that. Don't never take the plastic off. Uh, never. Never. Oh, nice. Man, look at the ground clearance on this thing. I can see my whole shoe under it. <laughs> that stands so high up. Yo, this might this might be a new daily. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you the Varla. This thing is crazy. Oh. <laughs> the two wheel burnout in the garage. I gave it gas. Look at that. Oh, hold up. Did I, oh. Front wheel and rear wheel drive. Oh, the front is just burning out like crazy. All right, whip it. First outdoor rip. Yo, he whipped. That's pretty quick. Let's see how fast he can drive by me. Oh, oh my god. Yo, oh, no, this thing is crazy. Oh. You're flying past that. Oh, my eyes are crying. <laughs> it's crazy. How's the acceleration on that thing? It's, this, it's very fast. This is no toy. <laughs> it is like a trampoline scooter. The tra literally a trampoline <laughs> scooter. <laughs> you feel? Wild. There he comes. Oh, oh, hold up. He's actually flying. <laughs> I'm scared to go fast. I need like a helmet. Yo. Really fast. Ah! Hey, Andrew, how fast are we going right now? <laughs> oh, does it show the speed on there? Yeah. Oh. All right, so this is a really rooty section. Lots of bumps and roots. Ah! Oh. It's really bumpy, but it's doing really well. Oh, oh my gosh. I will say, I'm sticking out the top of this roof right now, and I'm afraid that a branch is going to be right. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Yo, I almost dropped the camera. Yo. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm sweating. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting that big jump right there. But Carter's keeping up pretty well though. Not gonna lie. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Hey, Carlos. Taking you guys aboard the Varla just so I can break that one rule on the instruction manual. <laughs> Don't try this at home, I'm a trained professional. Okay, now I'm starting to see why this thing is really fast, but the riding experience is awesome. So far, it's really impressive. The suspension works well. It's a bit bouncy. Uh, maybe there's some dampening adjustments or something. I haven't really looked at it, I was too excited. It's not even a full charge. We just got it right out to get vlogging because it's, I couldn't wait. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. So we're gonna go test its hill climb capacities on Team Roar hill climbing hills. Here's what it looks like after riding a little bit. Still looks great. Got a few leaves up in here doing a burnout in the woods, but no problem at all. It looks great. We are now gonna do some hill climbs on some of this crazy terrain, drive over by the underwater car, go up next to the monster truck, and compare how it does compared to the Jeep. Barla scooter versus a Jeep. Nah, nah, come on now. Nah. All right, Barla is up first. We got the first. Oh, oh easy. Okay, okay. Easy. All right, let's see the Jeep. Here he comes. Oh, which way is the Jeep coming? Oh, he's taking it at an angle. Oh, no, he's going straight on. Oh, look how slow he's going. Wow. He's how slow he went and how fast I went. Oh, it's <laughs> like a thumbnail. It is. Okay, I'm going. I'm going to do it. Steep hill climb with no run up. Oh, this is a steep hill. Two wheel drive. Oh, did you see oh, the guy? <laughs> actually really impressive for a scooter. Look at that one. Easy. Look at how steep this is. Yeah. Oh my God. At like a 45 degree. I gotta say, with no run up, it just climbed. It did. The front wheel is a like two wheel drive scooter. I've never had that. All right, so now we're gonna go next to the underwater car. Uh, next to the underwater car. Oh, down the hill. Oh. Down the hill. You gotta touch the car. Easy. All right, Jeep's next. Oh, he didn't touch the car. <laughs> I'll give him a pass. All right. All right, last obstacle, hill climb. Oh, oh we're going to skid jump. on that. That's a little muddy. Yes, hey, jump. Oh, <laughs> easy. Easy. That was really muddy. It's really muddy. That's scary. Oh, Andrew might get stuck here. Ooh. Nah. I mean, you got to consider, this thing costs 35 times as much as that, so. <laughs> What would you rather have, 35 of these or only one of those? Oh wow, that is, hold on, you're saying that went up this steep hill right now? Yeah, I'm gonna try it with zero speed. Yo, this hill is actually really I'm steep. I'm gonna start, like worst case scenario at the bottom and see if I can't climb it. Oh, hold on. because it's wet. All right, here we go again. He did it, but he fell at the end. But he made it all the way to the top, though. It is a. That was impressive. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, it's a little bit of a learning curve to drive some, like a bike or, you know, a scooter, like a two wheel thing, where both wheels are driving. It feels different. So it takes a minute to get used to, but overall, it's not that bad. Um, but it definitely helps the traction. I'm gonna try that again. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get a close up of that front wheel. Dude, that looks sick. I, I saw the front wheel here. <laughs> Going, going, back and forth. going crazy with it. All right, all right here it comes. Here it's all about the balance. Oh. Look at that thing. Oh. Yeah, it's more street tires. If this had less slicks, yeah, yeah, yeah. it would do really well. I don't even think it's grip really... it. Yeah, they're kind of like. Oh, whoa! Look at the front tire real quick. See how smooth it is? Ah, uh, yeah. A street. So this thing's meant to rip really fast. Mm. Um, like more paved surfaces and gravel. Or wet grass, it's just not gonna do as well because it doesn't have the knobbiness of like a dirt bike tire. But if it did, I think it would have no problems climbing all of this stuff, even when it's wet. I think it's supposed to let some air out. Mm. We let a little bit of air out and it squishes more and it grabs the ground more because it's more squishy. Yeah. It's hard, so it's made for speed. That makes so sense. Smooth speed. Right now it's it's too uh, over, oh, yeah, too over pumped. All right, here comes, oh, this. Oh! Yes, sir. <laughs> Into the lake. Comment down below if Carter's gonna get some air on this ramp right here. If he's gonna get any, here he comes. 
Oh, okay. You got like, like that much? Just like maybe like an inch? <laughs> yeah, you gotta commit. Oh, I don't think you're you're full throttling right now. Oh. <laughs> okay, Kanye committing is not a good idea. Guys, I will say, Carter did have like probably like two feet of air, but I, I just missed it. That was that was totally my bad. I don't think it's a good idea to commit to the jump right now. It's kind of scary. I need a little bit more time to warm up on this thing. The size of it just feels way more substantial than your regular scooter. The beef, the heft. I mean, it's pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff. There might be some other adjustments with the suspension that we can make as well, based on like rider. There's a lot to learn. I don't want to crash on the first episode, guys, because that would be viral, like all these other videos. <laughs> and I don't want to get too many views on the very first video I film. I mean, come on. I'm not about like a YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> we got a Bugatti scooter and the world's fastest and one of the most expensive scooters and we're going to be putting them to the test. We're going to see what is faster, a Bugatti scooter or this crazy two-wheel drive Barla scooter. This thing's got suspension in the front and the rear, disc brakes, two-wheel drive, which means the front wheel is driven and the rear. And then of course we have the coolest scooter I think ever created. And this is literally a product of Bugatti, guys. It's actually the cheapest Bugatti that you can buy. I believe this one is one wheel drive, but it's literally Bugatti, which is the coolest part. Amazing Bugatti branding all over it. You power this thing up. Pretty sure it even has a Bugatti light. Yeah, look at the Ooh. tail light. That's the Bugatti logo, that like EB. Bugatti. And then you're probably wondering what the heck this thing is, because if you look how big it is, it is huge. It's got crazy suspension as you bounce on it. And this was sent to me by Varla. And this thing is like a motocross bike of a scooter. It is bigger, it's heavier, it is beasty, and it goes really fast. Oh, lots of suspension of the trampoline. So let's take these outside and put them to the test. We got Bailey on the Bugatti, and I'm gonna rock the Varla. We're gonna do some tests now. I think first up, we gotta figure out how fast these go. For any vehicle that you get, you always wanna know how fast it goes. And this thing claims a top speed of 45 miles an hour. I don't think any of us have been brave enough to try it. And the Bugatti's pretty quick too. Uh, I don't remember what the top speed claim is. It might be 25, it might be 35. But either, regardless of what they say, we're gonna put them to the test. And we're gonna see, right now we got a speedometer here. So we record on the GoPros. We should be able to keep an eye on the top speed. I think that tells you speed too, yeah. All right, we're going to the street for the first test. Oh, woo. The car is going fast. Okay, I gotta follow them behind in the gator because they're going way too fast. I can't sprint that fast. Look at them, I'm already in position. Oh, it's so wet over here, Stove. Are you gonna get stuck? It's two wheel drive, so I think I'm all right, but. Hey, hey, all right. hey, hey. let him keep you know? doing that. He's gonna waste his battery and then I'm gonna win this challenge. Easy. He's gonna make it slow. My gosh, is it wet. Bugatti scooter versus the world's fastest scooter. Let's see how it compares. Down to the end of the driveway and back. And back. Yeah, you ready to lose? All right, three, two, one, go! Uh, oh, was I supposed to start? Where are you supposed go. to go? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that one! Woo! Oh my gosh! Come on, Scooter, go! 11 miles, 12! Oh, and they're off. Wow, hold on, car. Oh! That's why you gave him a head start. It's so fast! Smoked him. He gave him like a three second head start on that too. Too easy. Guys, comment down below how fast you guys think they can get from there to here. Carter gave Bailey another head start. Three, two, one, go! And he's off. Let's see if I can still pass him. Here we go. Yo! He even gave you like a five second head start. Bro, that thing has definitely gotta be rigged. I don't know, maybe this might be the most expensive, but it's definitely not the fastest. No way. Yo, this thing is actually a lot faster than I thought. <laughs> so, quick side by side race, you can see how, just how much faster this thing is than the Bugatti. And Bugattis are fast. I mean, it's literally built by Bugatti. So now let's go out to the street and do a one at a time top speed test and see how fast the top speed is and then we'll compare it. Ooh, all right. Guys, I'm trying to beat cars in love. Oh my gosh. So fast. Literally it was a blur on the screen. Not only is this thing super fast, but I can. Oh. 
Hold up. Hey, I can do the same thing too. Watch. Can you? Oh! Oh! oh. oh that was pretty cool. But now we're gonna do an actual speed test. Bailey's on the blue Bugatti. <laughs> I mean, I gotta say, the coolest part about that thing is it's literally a Bugatti, guys. If you own one of those, you can go to school, to work, tell your friends, whatever. You own a Bugatti, because it's literally a Bugatti. It's two wheels, you know, it's not a car, but look, it's still a Bugatti, so it's pretty cool. And it has a Bugatti blue, too. <laughs> yeah. You know. All right, so just make sure you can see your top speed. We're gonna do a speed test from the top of the hill past the driveway. Bye, man, let's go. I'm going. Look at him kicking off. Get some more speed. It looks slow, but let's cut to his angle and see how it looks. Oh! 20 miles per hour! Here we go, we got the Bugatti scooter. Wow! That's actually kind of moving. That was pretty quick, not gonna lie. Yeah, no, I'm really, if that looked pretty quick and this is faster, how fast is this gonna feel? All right, what was it, 15? Oh, I honestly don't know how fast I was going. I started tearing up, I couldn't even look down, but I think it was over 20 miles per hour for sure. Over, over 20? Yeah. Powering up, all right, I'm gonna go to the top of the hill, get ready for my speed test. I think it's gonna be at least twice as fast. All right, guys, Carter's at the top of the hill right now. There's Let's no see way. what his top speed is. There's no way he's beating my top speed. No way. Here we go, guys. Varla top speed test. That's 15 already. That's 20. Uh, he already said 20. 30. Yo, he is flying right now. Oh, oh my. Oh. Yo, he was flying down yeah, the road. He looked like a flying star. What the heck? He might have even gone triple your speed there. Bro, dude, I, 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 I can't even speak. <laughs> he broke the sound barrier. He did. <laughs> we gotta check the footage on that. That was crazy fast. Oh, 45. That was definitely 45. That is quick. Look at him with his bright jacket. I hit 45. You hit 45? For, for sure, I saw 45 on the screen. Oh, wow. Scary fast. And once you get that fast, then you start to start wobbling. Start getting closer to getting speed wobbles. But for me, I handled it just fine. Oh, wow, 45. And I think Bailey hit 20 of a top speed, so. More than twice as fast. This is like two and a half Bugatti squished into this thing. It's crazy. I mean, it's two and a half the size, too, so. We're taking these speed off-road and the next test is a hill climb. We're starting small. This is a very small hill, but pretty steep. We're gonna see if I can climb it. Oh. Oh, straight up like an escalator. It felt like I was just like at the mall climbing to the second story. I Easy. Oh God, he's climbing. Oh, I, I'm making a path. So when I come up this hill, I have a clear, nice runway to go. Oh, I see the path. So I just gotta follow that path and I should be fine. So yeah. Bailey's trying to climb with the Bugatti right up here. All right, three. Two, one. Bugatti's taking some speed into it. Oh! oh. Easy. <laughs> Haggle. That was actually really impressive. I didn't think it was going to do that. The Bugatti actually might be pretty decent off road. Let's go to a bigger hill. Oh. This next test is to finish the hill climb test. We got the biggest hill here at the Teamer House. We can climb everything up here. We've done the little mini monster truck, the Hummer, the underwater Hummer. So we take everything up and down. Not everything always makes it. And we're going to see if the Varla two wheel drive can make it or if the Bugatti can. He climbed the other hill with the Bugatti, so let's drop in and see what happens. Ooh. Oh, uh, first, I mean, the first test is the drop in. Yeah. I think I can survive that, but. <laughs> Guys, they're so high up right now, yeah. I, I guess there's no way around it. Three, two, one. Oh, not bad. I made it. Let's go. Barla drop in, no brakes. Well, that was easy with the suspension. Easy. All right, I'll start with the hill climb. So you can go back up? Yeah, to make it fair though, I'm gonna do zero run up. Okay. I'm gonna start here and just do raw power and traction. Oh, wow. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't go up. Wow. I can't believe it. It actually, um, it didn't lose power. It just started to slip. I gotta keep my weight on the front, I think. Three, two, one, go. Is he gonna go? Is he gonna go? Oh, I lost power. Oh, wow. Maxing out the torque. Sorry, sliding. I'm actually failing an off-road test. I'm gonna have to just do maybe... You gotta run up. You need to run up. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Got it. Yep. Oh, barely. 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 I need 10 feet of run up. Honestly, if that Bugatti scooter makes it at all up this hill, it would be shocking. Oh, yeah? Go for 
there to be shocked. Are you starting from the other top? <laughs> I'm dropping in. I don't need no stand still run up. I'm just gonna do it. From up there? Yeah, I need, I need speed, obviously. All right, is it gonna work though? Is it enough? All right, Carter's life, comment down below, Bugatti, if you think it's gonna work. I pray it is. All right, three, two, one. Run! No way. It's like halfway up. I got I'm stopping where I actually got off. That's pretty impressive. More than halfway. It looks like it's Considering digging in. Considering this thing's not an off-road scooter, that is definitely impressive. All right, we'll try it again. I think you might get it. All right, and three, two, one, go. Push. Full throttle. Oh, yeah, push. Full, full, full. You got it. <laughs> Same spot. I told him what to do to make it work. He didn't listen. I need thrusters. <laughs> oh my god, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> this hill's so steep. <laughs> Round three from the chest cam Ooh. with a Bugatti with a boost. Oh, what's, what's, what's going on here? He needs a boost. The Bugatti just needs a boost. So, what runs a boost? Carter's share. <laughs> uh, Mr. Life. Mr. Boost. Uh, All right. You ready? Wow, they have a, he has a very long run up right now. <laughs> three, two, one, go. Push. Got the boosters Push. on. Push. Bugatti with a boost. Push. Oh! Same spot. So, I'm higher. Look, I'm actually standing where I can actually be almost flat. So, the boost worked, but not as well as it got. You're close, though. I did get the operator error. Watch this first try. Oh, he's That's calling it. In. Wrong. Hashtag Carter's not going to make it right now. Oh, this thing is so slow. Yeah, no kidding. You're used to a. A bar low. Let me go on the other scooter. Hold on. Okay, this time Carter is gonna try on the Bugatti scooter to get the run up, come all the way up, and Bailey's back on the Varla. I mean, that's easy. Dude, that felt crazy. Let's see it. <laughs> Did you make it? Wow! First, I say it was a user error there. Bugattis or, or scooters, what, that's what a scooter is, you push. <laughs> push it, man! Alright, well, I mean, it doesn't have the raw power of the double two-wheel drive Varla, but uh, I gotta say, the fact that it was even thinking about climbing that hill, actually impressive, because there are four-wheel drive vehicles that don't climb this hill. <laughs> like, the golf cart for sure didn't climb this. I mean, this. it drives downhill easy, too. I thought it was gonna sink in the mud at the bottom, but it was completely fine. It's got no suspension. It's only one-wheel drive. It's way smaller. <laughs> and it's literally Bugatti. Next test is the suspension test. Let's check out the Varla. Look at that. Oh, wow. Woo! Oh, yeah? Let's check out mine. Got. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's hard. <laughs> We're gonna be going down the Pine Root Trailhead. This is a beautiful path next to the lake, but it's got roots like crazy. It says all about suspension. So let's just, uh, let's run it. Oh, Starting off with a drop. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, oh my gosh, this is not built for this. Ooh, it's actually pretty, it's pretty smooth for me, honestly. Oh, that was a big one. Except honestly, you guys are doing pretty well. We're gonna get worse here in a second. Hey, Carter, I bet you can't get one hand like me. Ah! You're not gonna want to when you realize. Oh my god! Oh. Look at this, I can pop! Oh, like, oh, the fuck is on this? This suspension is like a trampoline. I can do tricks. This no. is no trampoline. It's the worst. Oh my gosh, Carter, I'm like, it's the worst. <laughs> Scooter I've ever taken off. Oh, oh this Woo. is the hardest section oh right here. Oh my gosh! Ow, ow, oh. Ow, oh, oh, oh. Oh. You actually did pretty well. Dude, this is so hard. I have to go fast, otherwise I'm not gonna make this hill. You got a little hill Come on, kick it into third gear. Oh my gosh, oh. Bailey's actually going pretty fast now. This thing's not made for outdoors, like on this terrain. It's made for. Uh, like gravel. I gotta say, for as non off roady as the Bugatti scooter is, it actually did really well. That trail is hard for like ATVs to go down because it's so bouncy. This did great. That did surprisingly, I didn't think it was gonna make it. I, I have a harder test for you, Carter, actually. I don't know if you'll be able to do it with this first try, but I almost did. You ready for it? What are you talking about? Here, follow me, follow me. Uh oh. This next challenge Bailey invented, it's called the Pebble Challenge. We're gonna see how far we can drive across this very loose gravel of pebbles. And the answer is not very far, but let's see which one can go further. You ready, Bailey? Oh, of course. Are you ready? Duh. Let's go! Hashtag Bailey's got a win right now, round three. If you win, subscribe to his channel, go. Woo! Ready, three, two, one, go! <laughs> Okay, oh. easy. Yo, that was 
was crazy. You saw all the rocks just blast everywhere. I mean, you flew by me Your on that. I'm not making that, y'all. Watch. All right, in three tries, I make it though. Three yeah, tries. Three tries. tries. From the chest mount. Okay, so the strategy for this one is a little bit about speed. It's also about tire width. The tires in this one are skinny. They're good for the road. It makes it go fast. It makes it very efficient. It makes the range good. The other one that Bailey's riding has got juicy tires, and that makes it float over these rocks. So I got to be light on the feet, but I got a strategy. All right, here they come. Car has three tries for this. Let's see if he makes it. Alright, that technique's where you start, I tried that too. That was, he almost actually made it. All the way, almost. <laughs> Alright, really remember I get three, so that means I get two more and I almost made it. Ooh, so it could be user error over there. Second attempt coming up, Let's see if he makes it. Second attempt, here we go, ready? Oh! <laughs> Honestly, it looked like you were just kind of wheeling it there, but the foot did come down. He has to do one more All right, attempt. One more attempt. Can't let the foot. No foot. I never did. True, true. I was going to say. That was a good attempt, though. I'm not going to lie. But if he didn't have his foot down, I would have called that as a pass. But third attempt. It all comes down Ooh. to this. Last and final try. Let's see if I can't make it. Later. Carter, if you, you, if you don't put a foot down, I'm going to be impressed. Super impressed. I always impress Bailey. Look, come on, guys. <laughs> hit that subscribe button right now. We're about to hit this. Come on, Bugatti. Look at that little emblem right there. It's beauty, luxury. Come on, you got this. Send it. <laughs> oh! Right at the end, guys. Right at the end, he put his foot down right there. We were barely able to get this in. We got the green one. So I'm so hyped to open this thing. Yeah, so Matt just learned the first rule of doing something fun is it doesn't count unless the <laughs> camera sees it. Okay, fair enough. Even if I saw it, I still don't believe it until you guys see it. That's how we do it on Carter's Life. All right, here we go. Oh, with the boost? With the boost. Oh my gosh, Matt. Oh, Look at these guys. You almost, you almost missed the landing. I almost, I almost missed the landing. Yeah. You landed like <laughs> past the yellow brick. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the exclusive 50cc go-kart. That's all they call it. They don't even give it a name. This thing is so incredible, so amazing, so untested. I don't know if I couldn't find any videos of this thing anywhere. Just awesome photos and amazing stats. 35 miles an hour. It was about 500 bucks. Something really sketchy is happening with these go-karts. I'm not sure what it is, but they're disappearing from the internet. They're all sold out or they just removed the listings and I'm not sure why, but we happen to get one. One of the very few that was ever available. Maybe they are doing like a recall or something. I don't know. There's no information. There's not even a name on them, but we're unboxing it. And I, I, can't, I can't be more excited to get right into this thing. Matt and Andrew haven't slept for days because of this box. And it is finally here. Bailey. Can I start pulling? He got it. No, he got it. Hey, hey, hey. Oh! Have you never unboxed it? I'm a kid in the No, we treat this with respect, especially because we need to return it because it doesn't work. I mean, it's Walmart. Made in China. Get a little more on your side. Oh, there we go. All right, we oh, that green! Boss! Oh, that's sick. Gasoline green. engine, we got... That's Carter Sheridan right there. All right, this is to give you an idea of what we're working with. Oh, those tires! Baby. We got the off tubeless tires. Wait, how are they Carter, tubeless? Real rough. Wait, oh, tubeless, yeah, of course. Yeah. We got the flag. Look at the size of this tire. This how is a big upgrade. This is a strong flag. Like, yeah. feel the base. This is it, guys. This is the real deal. Is You've oh, never seen so guy. many grown oh, adults be so excited oh, about baby, suspension. Yes! Oh, Adjustable oh, suspension? The shots? Are you kidding me? Look I'm at shot. that chain. Look at that. Oh, this is some is good Wait, look how small that's. Look how small. Is. small. We can, that's a two stroke. This thing's got a power oh, band. We can make that bigger. <laughs> we can, we can re-gear No, we should make that's this bigger, get more torque. Oh. We can make that smaller. We got the gas tank. Look at this little gas tank. We got that little shot. the back seat. We got cushion. Oh, you're gonna take those oh, landings. Oh yeah, and the now we're gonna be. Landing. We're gonna. Right. This is the cushion that matters right here. That's the one you sit on. Yeah, guys, this is absolutely amazing. Oh my, God. this is long. Traction on them. This is uh, <laughs> this is game over right oh, here, guys. We should have got two. Yeah, why didn't we get like? Five what do you mean? Your phone works, right? No, they're gone. They're, they're gone. deleted off the internet. Oh 
What? They don't They're exist. Gone. These do don't exist like online this? anymore. I cannot find I them anywhere. I'm looking for them. They're gone. Oh, I'm sure that is lightweight. This is to oh, die yeah. for. It's longer it's too. It's long. actually it's our long. size, Carter. Yeah. We got some. Uh, no more writing. Jack stands. Lego Jack stands. The suspension. Oh, oh look at that too. wheel. Wait, don't tell horn. me. What is that? Electric start? No. Is that nitro? It's, it's your Lambo. Lambo. It's your Lambo shift. I'm very impressed, Matt. <laughs> me too. You can get the crazy thousand dollar shifter cards. You can get the cheap, crappy things. This is like the perfect. Middle, I mean, we're assuming quality. Yeah, it's untested. But this is like the perfect size, shape, design. It could probably do off-road well. We could change the gearing. We got the jump. We're gonna. This thing's gonna fly. We need to move the jump like now. All right, we just literally finished. That was record time. We had like three guys just cranking on it. So what was interesting is we have the gas. So it came with its own little pre-mix bottle. So this is already mixed, but we actually put too much in. So this is about 30, this is probably about 25 to one. We're supposed to run, according to the instruction manuals, uh, 30 to one, but then the gas tank then says 25 so i don't think it matters a whole lot as long as you got some oil we should be fine and uh as long as they don't drip i don't know if we need a funnel no you're good okay so is that a full tank no no That's way good enough for now i'm actually really curious to see how one even fits into this it's, no, like a, it's a bit smaller than uh there's no like choke or anything it must be automatic get ready This is not is safe. It? We need a real ramp. Down. No, yeah. this is so safe. Andrew, let's build a ramp like we got tonight. <laughs> Because when you, no, not in there because you can't turn. Well, some like foot poles, like here. These are the pegs for now. And just turn like it, turn it sideways. Like yeah. And it doesn't feel right, but I promise. Wait, Carter. I drive like this. Yeah. You know what he was doing? What are you guys doing down here? <laughs> You've been missing out. <laughs> we were like, shoot, nobody break it before Carter gets down. Whoa! You landed at the end of the ramp. Oh, He's doing it again. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> So 
Guys, this go kart is actually unbelievable. This unboxing video just turned into like, I don't even know. We're literally moto. Well, it says moto on it. That's how you know it's like a motocross. <laughs> we got rear suspension, 50cc. We're not even barely hitting the power band. This is the mud monster. This is something we've been waiting a long time for, and it is now time to take. Whoa, it's got a metal crate. Oh we are doing the unboxing. This is a serious box. Oh, look at the size of the engine. Oh it's God. huge. Wow. This is some suspension, oh, this is tires. A this is a go-kart. <laughs> it's no go-kart. It's a mud monster. <laughs> Man, I think we need tools to Unboxing. open the box. <laughs> it's like welded together. I'm impressed. No, no, don't do that. Oh, no way. <laughs> Yo, what is this big boy? Monster. Mud monster. Your monster? Hey, oh, Ryan, yeah, you got some blood on you, dude. Do I? What happened? You good right there? What happened? Am I bleeding in the air? Yeah, right. Oh my god, I am bleeding. We got in a fight earlier. That was terrible. Why? If you guys are new here on this channel of Carter's Life, we did a video like this where we did another unboxing of a different go-kart. That one was pretty awesome, but this one is twice the price, twice the engine power, uh, and it honestly almost looks about twice as big. And it looks like it takes three of a- oh, I'm hearing bolts fall. 98cc, four-stroke engine, and we're getting the first look at it right now. Look at the size of that sprocket. Oh, it's geared so low. This is gonna be a torque monster. Is this for off-road? Oh. Holy moly. Dog, this dude. is like a full yes. lawnmower engine. Look at the like, gearing in oh, there. Oh, it's got a jack shaft too? The thing is... Bro, oh, it's intense. geared really nice low. Yeah. Wait, it's got... Parts. If you guys can see, it goes from the clutch to the jack shaft, from the jack shaft back down to here to this big sprocket to the wheels. That's major. Okay, take a look at these springs. So. This is gonna... Is this gonna send? Yeah, this is gonna be a jumper. <laughs> I don't know what kind of landing we're gonna need to build for this. <laughs> I mean, look at the box. I've never seen anything come in like I've a never box. Seen something come in a metal crate. Yeah, dude, that like, like holds a gorilla. This is gonna be a gorilla of a go kart. <laughs> like the last one, for reference, we actually have it torn down. It didn't survive too long. This is the last one. Look at the size of the engine. It's the size of my hand, and that's all it is from there to there. Look how wimpy that is. Itty bitty springs, and then look what we did to the brake. The brake fell off. <laughs> I mean, we basically trashed it, but, but we got to do a flat. Yeah, hold the tire up next to this go kart. It's half the size of the, this go kart. Look at this tire. Yeah, we're this is we're sending. We're sending somewhere. We're gonna be jumping the house. It looks like a beast. It looks like a like a what does it look like? It looks like you know someone's face with the nose chopped off. <laughs> it looks like a wild boar. Yeah, like it's yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks it's like got a, like a hefty a stance. That's what it looks it's like. got the gas pedal, the brake pedal. Oh, is that the brake? Yeah, isn't it's it? It's like insane? a cool like linkage there. I've not seen that. Look at this. It's is literally it? all solid metal. <laughs> we got these shocks up front. Guys, check out the suspension That's travel so on this thing. Looks awesome. <laughs> We got the steering wheel on. Ryan, what are you doing over here? Do you want to work this? Why, what are you doing? I have to clean up the garden a little bit. Actually? Yeah. For what? For fun. Try to jetpack around the house? Yeah. <laughs> that would be sick. I'm like riding it. How do I turn it off? Look at that. Adjustable seat. Wait. Oh yes. my god, it's the little things. But we're all gonna obviously go full. We're on to bigger and better things with a go kart like the Mud Monster. Yeah, we're gonna see if he, uh, an adult can actually ride this. I think you got plenty of room. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, oh. that's comfortable. Oh my god, dude. I feel like I'm in one of these Hummers. You're right basically now. driving like a mini Doom buggy. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. dude, this is gonna rip this so is fast. Gonna be so awesome. ah! <laughs> oh, I can't wait, guys. Out with the old little green go-kart that we were launching in with the new front and rear suspension. I can't believe what that one can provide. I don't even want to begin to believe what this can do. <laughs> yeah, guys, we're going to give you the honest review. We're not going to hold back. If it's great, we're going to tell you. And if it's not, you're going to find out here once we get this thing ripping. Carter, you know what you got to open now? Just the go-kart tech review channel. Yeah. <laughs> All we do is get go-karts yeah. unboxed. Some of them be sick. All right. Check this out, guys. We have the kill switch right here. Push that in. Boom. On. Off. All right. I'm going to send it for the first time. 
Yeah, is it have gas? Oh, it's so soft. It's in no it. way. Yeah. I love the. Oh, it's like a Stand long. Your feet. See if it, the, the sits good. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, easy. Oh my God, you're designed for this. Yeah, it's a great size actually. She's thirsty, guzzling. <laughs> Absolutely, guzzling. <laughs> guzzling. So that's the biggest thing, guys. Is this is a four-stroke engine, twice the displacement. You can see how much bigger the engine is. It's huge. The last engine was like the size of my hand. It was like this all like a small football. <laughs> It's definitely an off-road machine, whereas the other one could not go off-road whatsoever. Now it's time to... Let's see what Bailey can do. <laughs> I gotta say, the suspension is nice, just bouncing around. You're cruising, bro. It's Whoa, all right, Matt. I haven't seen a backflip out of you since Lazar came around. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have to put it to off, and then off is on on this cart. No, every day is April Fool. Ready? Let her rip. There it goes, mud monster. It's not bad. It's a lot quieter, but it's just, it's still not that, for it geared that low, it, it doesn't, it's like, it's still kind of slow off the start. There he goes, around the pool deck, into the backyard with the mud monster, 90 ACC. I want to jump it right into the pool. What do you think? That's, that was amazing. Yeah. When you remove the govern, Give it to me. Let me get a run. What do yeah, I do? Just, just you the just feel drive. of it overall is so on? much more work. Yeah, the suspension's nice. Is it on? All right, so off is on and on is off. <laughs> no, it's not. It, it is. Really? It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I thought that was a joke. No, it's literally backwards. Yeah. All right. Go, Pronti. Go, Pronti. Here goes Ryan. Yes! All right, so the clip that you guys probably didn't know is that we have a little bit of flashback on the clip of us coming into the driveway. There was a car out front. They were driving by seeing the house being pink and they were absolutely shook that they actually were reversing. When they saw us pull in, they were like, oh, that's their house with the go-kart? Oh boy. Oh my God, when you're on open ground, you can fly. Wow. Yo, all right, someone else, you dude, that's nuts. When you're on flat ground, you rip. I need a, a double team. We're doing a, a wheelie sesh. A wheelie sesh? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Bailey, hop on the back for wheelie sesh. Too hard to balance. I'm too heavy for the back. <laughs> so we just spent the last 15 minutes studying the mechanics of how this works. There's a governor in there, which essentially makes it slower. So we took that off. We think it's gonna work. Let's turn it off, AKA on. Let's pull it and see how it does. No way, is this actually gonna work? I don't know. I will literally scream if this works. I heard it keep going. <laughs> to the streets! Yeah, I think we need to go on the street. To the streets! I think it should go faster. Here we go. Oh, he's already lost me. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I can't keep up! Whoa! Oh, it goes way faster now, guys! Hang on! Woo! Oh yeah, I feel like it goes 10 miles, oh! I think it goes like 10 miles an hour faster. <laughs> One paper clip gives you 10 miles an hour. What about two paper clips? I'm gonna give them a head start. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. There's Andrew. All right, Bailey's out ahead, I can't get him. I feel like it fell off, so. I think the problem now is the throttle came loose. Oh, shoot. Yeah, see, I'm not even pulling oh, any no. throttle. That's loose. What the heck? <laughs> okay, well, uh... It's possessed. 
the throttle is too tight now. Oh. I'm gonna show you, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> we put the throttle on too tight. Oh, it feels fast. It feels real fast. Yep. Yep. Whoa, boy. Oh, yes. It's so good. We successfully did the governor override, and this thing is ripping. We have the 40cc off-road scooter. Is that what they call it? Off-road scooter? It's a little mini motorcycle, and it absolutely rips. We have these at my parents' house. We got one right here in this box, and we're going to do a super fast unboxing in three, two, one, whoop! And there it is, super fast unboxing. It actually wasn't much. I didn't actually film this because we were so excited. Well, Andrew was so excited. He just whipped it out of the box, screwed it together. It didn't take much, just tightening the handlebars, put gas on it, and here it is in all of its beautiful glory. It's a little four-stroke mini speed bike. And uh, let me tell you, these things are fast. And Andrew just took it out and you can confirm it is fast. I've seen Very clips and I have not seen it in person. So this will be my first time seeing it in person. I believe it's extremely, it's a four stroke. So we're about to go take over the neighborhood on the one wheel, the mud monster and taking it out on its maiden voyage. <laughs> The little tiny red motorcycle. I'm really hyped about this thing. We got this on. This is another Walmart pickup. This was from Walmart. The last unboxing, actually all of these unboxing is from Walmart. Guys, you need to, Walmart, if you're watching this, and I bet you are, you need to sponsor us. Send us more of these products to unbox and review because we are having a blast. Sponsor Team Roar. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Because we buy all the fun stuff from any website. We'll buy it from anywhere. Amazon. Oh wait, no, actually this one is from Amazon, but yeah, we'll buy it from Amazon, from Walmart, wherever we can find and get our hands on this stuff. <laughs> Before we get going, <laughs> look at him go. Just take a look at the size of this thing. It is absolutely tiny that I can't even sit in the seat. I mean, I kind of can, but I actually sit up on the edge. And what's good about the design is they put metal up there. So it's strong, even when you're sitting up on like the tail. Before he, he pulls that one, let's pull this one and see how she fires up. Oh, it's, it's so easy, yes! I love these little toys, guys. These are one of my favorites. We're about to get Bailey started. Oh, beautiful. Yo, it's moving backwards. What? I think she's ready to go. We're ready. Here's the crew. This is the low, it's strong. Yes. The best part about it is you can just pick it up. I love it. Alright guys, comment down below. What do you think is the fastest? The mini motorcycle, the one wheel, or the mud monster? My vote is this is probably the fastest. Then the go-karts. If you guys commented down below that the little mini bike was faster, you're right. It's not faster off the line, but once it gets moving, this thing is unstoppable. That's insane. Yeah! Oh! This is upside! Yeah! This is awesome! Oh! <laughs> Once you're up to speed on this thing, it goes so fast. Yeah. And it just keeps going. <laughs> yep. Like nothing stops it. Dude, I'm so impressed with these things. They go so fast. I'm, a, I'm six foot, 180 pounds. This thing's probably meant for a 12 year old or something. I don't know. <laughs> 300 bucks, walmart.com. Dude, it's hard to beat. These things are incredible. And we haven't even broken out and tried the bike trailers for it yet. Cause this thing can pull two people, believe it or not. This is a moment we've been waiting for that Andrew has been waiting for. I finally got a one wheel. So we're doing a little unboxing. I'm so hyped about this. Brand new in the box. It was about $2,000, believe it or not. Very expensive, but it's gonna be worth it. Well, Welcome to the ultimate riding experience. 
We got some stickers. Some XO, yeah, until you push it too far. So we got some stickers. Looks like they got. It's true. We gotta run. Oh, you got a oh, first look, it's so fresh. Oh my god. Blue anodized oh aluminum, probably. Wow. <laughs> Take it all in because this is the last time you're gonna see it this clean. <laughs> Wait, what color is yours now, right there? Right, I'm gonna lift her out. There she is. Wow, I got the grip tape on it already. Look at that tire. Oh, it's a bald tire. You got the treaded one. Mm hmm. It's kind of. Whoa, look at that. My fingers stick into it. Oh, this is a different tire than what they originally came with. <laughs> this is a really cool tire. It's a new one. Yeah. Is that on? Turned right on. It's got some charge. Let's see if she's going to do it. Right out of the box? Does it work? <laughs> oh, oh, it's so smooth. Oh, it's stable. There's gonna be tire tracks all over the house. I don't think it's supposed to sound like that. Look how sticky the tire is, it just mopped the floor. It's like a lit roller, that's disgusting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was yeah. fresh a second ago. <laughs> like I said, last time you'll see it clean. Got the handle right there. Time to charge, we're hitting a fat road trip tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should do a fat road trip tonight. <laughs> how do I know how much battery this has? Get the, get the iPhone app. Does it tell you on the lights or something? No, you gotta get the app. You let us hit 40 minutes full charge, supercharger. Yeah, I have a supercharger we can well, plug in real quick. Right now, but we should hit a minute of the mm -hmm. But most of the time, all right, so the trick with charging though, don't plug that in yet. The trick is- Plug this in first? Yeah, because this is a replaceable cord. Okay. Right? Yeah. When you plug it in, there's always an arc. Every time you plug it in, there's an arc. Okay. So you wanna put this in first, so you're not arcing your pins. Okay. It's on the other side. Oh, yeah. And then you plug in the wall. Yeah, I mean, it's it'll take a long time for it to kill it or do anything bad to it, but it's just a good thing to think about because you can arc this all day and it wears out these pins, and that's fine because you can replace that. All right, guys, first time taking the one wheel out of the house. Andrew and I are going to go for a mini road trip. This one's actually going to be pretty legit. I got 100% charge from the supercharger. I feel pretty good on it. It's looking sick. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Right, Yo, are you up there? Yeah, I'm up here. I thought you went home. I already changed. I already went home. Oh, I didn't know you came back. Bailey's coming on the road trip with us. We got the scooter from Tag, and it's got a full charge. What a way to end the week, guys. We are, uh, it's Friday night. It's unbelievable. It's Andrew's birthday tomorrow. We got two XRs, an electric scooter. That thing goes fast. Come on, Bailey, yeah, let's go. From a four to the three to the three to the flat two, it's a floppy two. two. Oh! <laughs> Woo, roller coaster! Let's go! Uh, Yo, Team Rar through the window, look at that. Sweet! If you guys already don't know, you gotta go to teamrar.com, get yourself a hoodie, that's what they, they keep us warm. We got Team Rar shorts right there, drying out from the pool jumps. He's in cliff jumping earlier. Woo! All right, squad, let's go. And we are off road tripping, woo! This time we're not on mini bikes, we're not on go karts, we're on electric vehicles with the one wheels and the electric scooter. There he is. It's about time. Look at him fly. Oh my gosh, you're going so fast. He can't stop. He just bombed in a hill. Oh my gosh. We were waiting for Andrew because he couldn't make it down the hill and he came flying by. Bailey's got a little off road. Oh my gosh. Not a chance. We've never been up this way. I don't know if it's a park up here or if it's like construction. We're gonna go check it out. Oh, it's like a park up here. I don't know what this is. I mean, it kind of looks like a house, but it definitely looks like a park. Oh my god, this is made for the dirt monster. Yeah. It's made for the one wheel once I uh, lose some battery. Are you still at 100% Andrew? Yeah, like 99% still. You think I should bomb on the scooter? Yeah, you got it on the scooter. I don't like those words, bro. Y'all don't seem too confident. It seems like... You 100%. You can also go this way too. It's not even bad. Alright, I see where I'm going. Sheesh. Here you go. Yeah, brakes. Brakes. Oh, he's going so fast. Oh, 
He had to hop it. You hopped it. Yo, that was steep. That was a lot more than I thought. Wow. Andrew's battery is stuck at 100% and the problem is if you go downhill and it recharges going down, it overcharges and it will shut off and you can fall. So he's trying to burn battery, but we got a hill climb here. Because I put an extra big battery. He's got an extra mod. Because Andrew has to mod everything. Nothing can be stopped. I'm at 2,666 miles. I'm at one mile. I got my first mile on my one wheel, yeah! <laughs> Just 2,000 to go to catch up to Andrew's board. Are you not climbing right now? You're struggling. We might need to tow you. Let me, I can probably grab your handlebar. Yeah, you can burn his bat. Yeah, burn your battery, Andrew. Grab the center. This is what happens when you get the, the handicap assist. This is what happens when you can't ride a one wheel. <laughs> it's like a commercial. <laughs> Go one Love more. Our, our bodies are still, but we're moving. <laughs> Teamwork. All right, that man's being pushed. All right, you're good. Yeah, we're good. You're good here. No. That was basically the steepest hill uh, that the whole way. Yeah. Although we get into some crazy ones up here soon. I'll show you by Dr. Bill's house. <laughs> Woo! Peekaboo! We got the views. Yeah. Oh, so today, guys, we're just gonna be talking. I'm not even gonna look at where I'm going. You know, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna put one hand on my head. Oh! This next segment is is Uphill, hosted by Bailey Payne. Today, this in on this forecast, we have a bright sky of about 72 Fahrenheit. On this next episode of Climbing Uphill. <laughs> this just said Bailey struggles to go up mountain via electric scooter gets pulled via air wheel. <laughs> air wheel. One wheel. Yeah, these houses, guys, as we roll up here, are just getting crazy. They're so hidden through the hedges this way. Yo, there's oh, Phil. There's Phil's. I saw Phil's house. It's massive. You got to look through right here. Dr. Phil. Look at that. Oh, up on the hill? Dr. Phil's house. Wow. All right, good luck. <laughs> Yo, I don't know about your brakes. Oh my gosh, this is so steep. All right, slow it down. And this one wheel does, oh, yo, this is steep. All right, guys, I almost missed, but this is a sweet lookout right here. Woo, city lights. Yes, look at that, guys. That's amazing. You can actually see downtown LA through some of the fog. I think it's uh, not just pollution. I'm pretty sure that's a marine layer, but that's downtown LA right there. We're gonna put the recharge to the test. I'm currently at 69% battery. We got the steep hill and it's supposed to recharge as you go downhill. So we'll see if I go up to like 70, 75%. I don't know. It's not that big of a hill. Oh, 70. All right, I got 1%. You got a car, watch out. Oh, we got a car. <laughs> that barely just bombing hills. Sheesh. I gotta say that scooter as he zips oh oh my gosh Woo! careful i almost fell i was gonna say guys comment down below what would you rather ride the one wheels that are faster uphill have it there's a bit you know there's advantages uh but then the scooter bombs down the hill and again has handlebars that's a little bit more stable we're probably not gonna fall off and it's got its advantages as well you had to run it out the Virginia truck runway. You know when the brakes go out? You yeah, to you just go them up. All right, so I'm actually vlogging. It's got my light on, so it's actually even safer, so cars can see me, because it is getting a bit dark. Andrew's got some headlamps on. I actually have a headlamp, too. Oh, we're back out to a main road. He's gonna make sure the cars see us as we go before we get to the next sidewalk. The sidewalk stopped connecting, so we were kind of forced to come out here is not the best. Do not try this at home. Bailey is going crazy. Get out of the road, you maniac! What? Oh. Wait, are you Yo, cops are coming, dude. Cops are coming. We got another toe up the hill. Into the darkness. Into the darkness. Left or right? Oh, wait. Oh wait, we're back home! Dude, I had no idea it connected like that. I was like, where are we? We're back out front of the house. That it's was like a full charge, it's it's a game over. That was a I made trip. it literally at one bar in that whole trip. <laughs> oh you're empty now. I mean that's how I was cruising when I left. <laughs> are you serious? No, was I it sitting on one? It was, 
No, it sat on three, but when I started pulling the gas, it was one to one. But it recharged as I was going down the stairs. I mean, it makes sense. He's empty now. Wow, that's crazy. Well, I, thought it, we I thought it had this, more range. This yeah. thing's a beast. And we gotta walk in this handlebar thing because when I hit it's that crooked. curb, it dropped and I almost went. Oh. Look, you can see it's crooked. That's the wheel straight. Yeah. And there's the handlebar. So imagine when you were side. dragging me and yeah. that's scary. Woo! You guys know that I love Lamborghinis. I got one here. I got another one there and other crazy cars. But today, Bailey is about to learn, as well as you guys, Woo! that I got another crazy thing to add to the e collection. I heard it was a rumor, but I have to see it with my own eyes because I don't think it's even true. It's Just like this. The this little cyber crazy. quad. This is cool, but it's a, it's a vehicle like this, but it's even cooler and it starts with a B. Uh, is it a Bailey mobile? <laughs> it's a Bugatti baby. No, you don't. Yeah, it's a Bugatti. Where? I literally just got a brand new Bugatti and it's not clickbait. It's legit. It's a real Bugatti and it's the cheapest Bugatti that money can buy. Really? Cheapest in the country. How much? Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you. Let's go check it right, out. Well, I'm going to drive this Tesla over because I don't believe you. He's driving the Cyber Quad. I'm going to drive my ATV with the new rims. Going the wrong way. We gotta go to this garage. If you guys have been watching the channel, you guys know that I love crazy, rare, and ridiculous rides. That's why this Bugatti is next on the list. But of course, I got a crazy monster truck. This thing is amazing. It literally crushes cars. Here we go. Oh, oh my gosh. But we're definitely moving up in life with this next one. And we're pulling up to the garage where it lives, in here. We're getting closer. Woo! All the way up. In this garage, you guys will see more of our crazy cars. This one's Andrew's. This one's Matt's. This is Hunter's. And then I got a dirt bike. And then these two are Matt's. This car is Matt's. And then this one is one of my newest ones. I'm not even sure if I've even shown you guys this one, but this is a brand new little turbocharged mini rally car. Of course, we got the little red wagon. We have another race car. This is Matt's. And we are moving one. We're actually getting a lot closer to the Bugatti right now. We got Liz's new mini Jeep there. Another car that we're working on. Carter, where's this Bugatti at? I, I don't see any Bugatti anywhere. There's a Bugatti, a real one. And I'm not even clicking. I literally got it from Bugatti official the actual place and uh it's right here check it out this is it legit bugatti branding and the first thing you're gonna know is that it's a little bit small and it's not a toy this is a le legit bugatti but we gotta open There's it up no bugatti in here no 100 percent. it's a real bugatti carter you can't drive anything in here this size it's a legit bugatti vehicle i promise i'm not even capping let's go open it up and see what's inside Ooh. Oh, I'm seeing something crazy. Oh, look at that box. That was just a shipping box. This is where all the magic happens. Oh, it's heavy. It's a heavy Bugatti. Carter, I don't think you can pull it out. Oh, look at that arm muscle going. Yeah. Yes, sir. Been hitting the raw gym. She oh, Bugatti oh. scooter? It's a Bugatti scooter, but legit Bugatti branded. Guys, this isn't like some kind of toy or replica. This is actually made by Bugatti. Look at that tent right there. Ooh. So that means I am literally a proud owner of a Bugatti. Not a car, but a two-wheel electric scooter. And it even's got the logo that projects. Look at that. What? I, I don't believe it until I see it, you know? We gotta keep unboxing it. I'm actually hyped. I bought this like, as soon as they released it, I jumped on it because they're gonna sell out. Wait, how long ago did you buy this? Like two months ago. Sheesh, took a while. I was one of the first people to buy one of these. Because I figured it was going to sell out and the price is going to skyrocket because they're limited oh, they're edition. hype. Yeah. How many were made? I don't know. Y'all, someone on the YouTube video, find out how many of these are made and comment down below because I want to know. This looks rare. Hey, don't damage the box. I already, I already did. No, already Carter. Box. It's like, if that was a real Bugatti car, you know how much money that would have been? It would have been like 100 grand because <laughs> the box ripped. Oh. oh that blue. Stove. <laughs> stove, you're missing out. Oh. I'm pushing down on this side. Oh, oh that broke my heart. That's fifty thousand dollars. Oh, I just lost fifty grand in value. I broke the box. Oh no! <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Oh that's a good my variety. gosh! Look at the oh god. That sticker's probably worth like a hundred dollars. Yeah, let's preserve it. Let's get it, get it off. Get it off strategically. 
Yo. I gotta put this. We on. gotta put this something. Put it on one of the cars. Oh, I should put it on my red I, one. Yeah, no. Put it on the, the the turbo, the new one. Right on the front. Let them know it's a Bugatti. Mini Bugatti. <laughs> I was it's thinking it would like, go right oh there. Should look terrible. Bugatti. Oh <laughs> It kind of looks real. This box is legit crazy. I've never seen a box just like this. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh, no way. Woo! This unboxing experience is insane. It's a plot. A work of art created and engineered to deliver a new oh, wave of mobility. No. Dude, I can't believe I'm a daily drive a Bugatti around the house. This is crazy. Oh, oh, no way. Time to take this box out, see what's in this. I wonder if there's like an instruction manual. <gasps> oh, yes. comes with a Rolex? Check it out. <laughs> it says, a work of art created and engineered to deliver a new wave of mobility and a transit revolution. Let's see what this, it's the owner's manual. I literally have a Bugatti's owner's manual. Authenticity certificate card. That means this Bugatti is 100% legit. I'm about to blur this out so you guys can't copy it. But guys, I am officially in the Bugatti family. We got some tools in here. This has got to be the charger. It's just a high quality box, Carter. It is. Came from Bugatti. And here is the actual Bugatti itself. Oh, I can't scrape it. Don't scratch the new Bugatti. It looks like it should be pretty straightforward to put together. I mean, Carter, you've built robots in the past. Yeah. So I think you could build a Bugatti scooter that's already built. Just putting it together. <laughs> it's got the letter B on it though, look. It's got the B. It's got the B for big bands. Oh, don't break this. <laughs> That's a lot. Do y'all see how many holes that was? Look at that. Sheesh. Looks like a Ritz cracker. Carter, the real question is, does it feel like a Bugatti? I think it does. The build quality is insane. The paint is actually- How are the official. handlebars? It's official Bugatti blue. It's got the velvet handlebars. Actually, I actually seen that they have turn signals. That's what it looks like. I'm looking, it looks like a Yeah, and thing, on the right? back of like, like blinkers. <laughs> really? Yeah. I think I gotta put two bolts in. So I got an extra screw. I'm not reading the manual, so I don't know if that's extra or I'm supposed to put it somewhere. But I got all, all right, the Carter, does in. it not go in here? I think that's supposed to be a quick release latch. Uh, oh, you got the Bugatti rims? Oh, don't sleep. It's time, baby. Kickstand up. Power on. Pull that sticker off so you can read. I gotta say, long press, one press, headlight function. There it is. The hologram. Yo! Wait, put Bugatti on my foot. Ah! Ride it in style, baby. It looks like we have a good charge. Let's give it a little little test. Solid bell. Oh, there she goes. Oh, I'm moving. Right, car is going kind of quick right now. I think this is way too fast in the garage. Oh! <laughs> That's not too fast. Yo, it's quick. We gotta go outside, I think. This thing might go fast. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Car hey, guys, comment down below. Carter, stop being scared. Just yeah. rip it in the garage and send it. Oh. 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 She's gone. Here we go. Oh, Carter, that does not look that fast. It doesn't look that fast, or maybe I'm just blind because he does have a lot of land going that way. So I'm going to have to really feel for myself to let you know if it's fast or if it's slow. Oh, let's see. Woo! All right, well, you know, you know it has to happen now. I have to <laughs> sling it. All right, send it. There goes Bailey. There he goes, ripping the Bugatti. <laughs> First time ever touching or driving a Bugatti and it's in my backyard. There he is, it's Bugatti. Solid. Yes. Beautiful blue Bugatti. The blue with the green, I know that pops. I gotta say, I thought it would be like crazy, super fast, but it's not. It's just about regular speed. I mean, it goes pretty quick, but it's no like 100 mile an hour scooter or anything like that. It's just Bugatti. It looks amazing. It's got the Carter, logos on it. Why was our way turn left? What? If I want to go right? Blinkers go left again. Ooh, we got the blinkers, got blinkers. Look at the tail lights. Yeah. It's definitely got some cool features. I think it looks amazing. The aesthetics, the unboxing experience was totally worth it. But it's not like 100 miles an hour. It just goes just like a, your regular bird scooter or it electric scooter. It's good for jumping, mostly. Oh, it's heavy. It's heavy. Yeah, you can't jump that. Yeah. It does fold down so you can put it in your trunk. I mean, it's pretty cool. If you want to be like the fashionable 
scooter goer. I mean, I guess that's the move. Bugatti is definitely the best you can get. It's so yeah, sick. And in the Team Mars shirt, it makes it pop. And in front of that sky, Woo! looks photoshopped out here. Woo! Woo! Merry Christmas and happy holidays, Carter's of Life. We've done some amazing stuff this year. So guys, I want you to comment down below right now. What was your favorite moment? I think for me, it has to be the cars, the vehicles like this crazy boat car or this Hummer. And on top of that, I think some of my favorite of all time have to be the mini vehicles, like the mini Lambos and the mini dirt bikes and all the crazy unboxings that we have done. And in this video, we're gonna be looking back at all the crazy mini vehicles that we have done this year on Carter's Life. We got the 50cc go-kart. We actually got this, uh, originally we ordered it from Amazon, but then something weird happened. It got like deleted and we can't even find them on Amazon anymore. It was like, a, it was really weird, kind of sketchy. So then I found them again on walmart.com. Place the order, the next day they are gone. Not out of stock, like deleted. So I, they're like, it's like a ghost of a go-kart. I don't know exactly what's going on. I feel like maybe they were sold and they got pulled out of the system for some reason, but we got one. We ordered one, they're 50 or 51 cc, and we're gonna do a full unboxing. Apparently it goes 35 miles an hour, it has rear suspension, off-road tires, and I think we got the green. Was it supposed to come next week? It, yeah, they came yeah, early. Yeah, really the thing is though, if you try to look this up, you can't find it anywhere online. All gone off of Walmart and Amazon. We were barely able to get this thing. We got the green one. So I'm so hyped to open this thing. Yeah, yeah so Matt just learned the first rule of doing something fun is it doesn't count unless <laughs> the camera sees it. Okay, fair enough. Even if I saw it, I still don't believe it until you guys see it. That's how we do it on Carter's Life. All right, here we go. Oh, with the boost? With the boost. Oh my gosh, Matt! Oh, Look at these guys. You got double boost. You almost, you almost missed the landing. I almost, I almost missed the landing. Yeah. You landed like <laughs> past the yellow brick. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the exclusive 50cc go kart. That's all they call it. They don't even give it a name. This thing is so incredible, so amazing, so untested. I don't know if I couldn't find any videos of this thing anywhere. Just awesome photos and amazing stats. 35 miles an hour. It was about 500 bucks. Something really sketchy is happening with these go karts. I'm not sure what it is, but they're disappearing from the internet. They're all sold out or they just removed the listings and I'm not sure why, but we happened to get one. One of the very few that was ever available. Maybe they are doing like a recall or something. I don't know, there's no information. There's not even a name on them, but we're unboxing it. And I, I, can't, I can't be more excited to get right into this thing. Matt and Andrew haven't slept for days because of this box. And it is finally here. Bailey. Can I start pulling? We got it, no, yeah. Hey, 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 have you never unboxed I'm a kid, I'm a kid in the no, playground. We treat this with respect, especially because we need to return it because it doesn't work. I mean, it's Walmart. <laughs> Made in China. Get a little more on your side. Oh, there we go. All right, we oh, got that it. green boss. Oh, that's sick. Shrimp green. And then we got that's Carter Sheridan right there. All right, this is to give you an idea of what we're working with. Oh, those tires. Baby. We got. The off tubeless tires. Wait, how are they tubeless? Real Wait, oh, tubeless. Yeah, of course. Yeah. We got the flag. Look at the size of this tire. This how is a big upgrade. Is this? this is a strong flag. Like, yeah. you have a base. This is it, guys. The oh, real this deal. Is a seat. Oh, You've oh, never oh, seen God. so many oh, grown God. adults be so excited oh, about baby, we Yes. Adjustable oh suspension. God. The shots? Are you kidding me? <laughs> look I'm at that shocked. chain. Look at that. This, oh, this is some is good. Wait, look how small that's. Look how small. We can. That's a two-stroke. This thing's got a power band. Oh, no, that's we can make good. that bigger. We can. We can regear. No, we should make that's this bigger. Get more torque. <laughs> we can make that smaller. We got the this gas thing. tank. Look at this little gas we tank. We got the back seat. We got cushion. Oh, you're gonna take those oh, landings? Oh yeah, now we're gonna be we're gonna, right. We're gonna, this is the cushion that matters right here. That's the one you sit on. Yeah. Guys, this is absolutely amazing. Oh my, this is long. This is field traction on them. This is, uh, this is game over right oh, here, guys. We should have got two. 
Dude, why did we get like five What do you mean? Phones? Your phone works, right? No, they're gone. They're, they're gone. deleted off the internet. Oh, what? They don't they're exist. Gone. These do don't exist did? online anymore. I cannot find I them was, anywhere. I'm looking for them. They're gone. Oh, I'm sure that is lightweight. This is to oh, die yeah. for. It's longer it's too. It's long. actually it's our long. size, Carter. Yeah. We got some good, some good. No more writing a bunch of Lego jack stands. The suspension. Oh, look at that wheel. Wait, it's don't tell the horn. me. What is that, electric start? No. Is that nitro? It's your Lambo. It's your Lambo series. I'm very impressed, Matt. <laughs> Me too. You can get the crazy $1,000 shifter cards. You can get the cheap, crappy things. This is like the perfect middle. I mean, we're assuming quality. Yeah, it's untested. But this is like the perfect size, shape, design. It could probably do off-road well. We could change the gearing. We got the jump. We're gonna, this thing's going to fly. We need to move the jump like now. All right, we just literally finished. That was record time. We had like three guys just cranking on it. So what was interesting is we have the gas. So it came with its own little pre-mix bottle. So this is already mixed, but we actually put too much in. So this is about 30, this is probably about 25 to one. We're supposed to run, according to the instruction manuals, uh, 30 to one, but then the gas tank then says 25 so i don't think it matters a whole lot as long as you got some oil we should be fine and uh as long as they don't drip i don't know if we need a funnel no you're good okay so is that a full tank no no That's way good enough for now i'm actually really curious to see how one even fits into this so, uh, it's a bit smaller than uh there's no like choke or anything it must be automatic get ready jumping machine. No way. Dude, there's no way. There's no way. It's, you know, it's more than we've ever dreamed. You're going to laugh more because Stove hits it. Yeah, Stove hit it. Ryan hit it. Everybody hit it. Yeah, it's unreal. This is not is safe. It? We need a real ramp. Down. No, yeah. this is so safe. Andrew, let's go to ramp like we got tonight. <laughs> Going to the moon. What's the best way? Like All right, I clip my feet here. Because when you, no, not in there because you can't turn. Well, some like foot poles, like here. These are the pegs for now. And just turn like it, that? turn it sideways. Like yeah. It doesn't feel right, but I promise. Wait, Carter. I drive like this. Yeah. You saw what he was doing. What are you guys doing down here? <laughs> you even missed out. <laughs> we were like, shoot, nobody break it before Carter gets down. Whoa! You landed at the end of the ramp. 
He's doing it again. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Two wheels. <laughs> Guys, this go-kart is actually unbelievable. This unboxing video just turned into like, I don't even know. We're that literally moto. Well, it says moto on it. That's how you know it's like a motocross. <laughs> we got rear suspension, 50cc. We're not even barely hitting the power band. This is the mud monster. Oh, yeah. Cut it over here. This is something we've been waiting a long time for, and it is now time <laughs> to take. Whoa, it's got a metal crate. Oh, we are doing the unboxing. This is a serious box. Oh, look at the size crazy. of the engine. Oh, it's God. huge. Wow. This is some suspension, oh, this is tires. A this is a go kart. <laughs> it's no go kart. It's a mud monster. <laughs> Man, I think we need tools to Unboxing. open the box. <laughs> it's like welded together. I'm impressed. No, no, no don't do that. Oh, no way. <laughs> Yo, what is this big boy? Monster. Mud monster. You're a monster? Hey, oh, Ryan, yeah, you got some blood on you, dude. Do I? What happened? You good right there? What happened? Am I bleeding in the air? Yeah, ready? Right? Oh my god, I am bleeding. We got in a fight earlier. That was terrible. Oh my god. If you guys are new here on this channel of Carter's Life, we did a video like this where we did another unboxing oh! of a different go-kart. Right, so that one was pretty awesome, but this one is twice the price, twice the engine yeah. power, uh, and it honestly almost looks about twice as big. And it looks like it takes three of a- oh, I'm hearing bolts fall. 98cc, four-stroke engine, and we're getting the first look at it right now. Look at the size of that sprocket. Oh, it's geared so low. This is gonna be a torque monster. This for off-road? Oh. Holy moly. Dog, this wait, is like a full this. lawnmower engine. Look at the uh, gearing in oh, there. Oh, it's got a jack shaft too? The thing is... Bro, oh, it's intense. geared really nice low. Yeah. Wait, it's got... Parts. If you guys can see, it goes from the clutch to the jack shaft, from the jack shaft back down to here to this big sprocket to the wheels. That's major. Okay, take a look at the That's spring major. too. This is gonna... Is this gonna send? Yeah, this is gonna be a jumper. <laughs> I don't know what kind of landing we're gonna need to build for this. <laughs> I mean, look at the box. I've never seen anything come in like I've a never box. Seen something come in a metal crate. Yeah, dude, that like holds like a gorilla. This is gonna be a gorilla of a go kart. <laughs> like the last one, for reference, we actually have it torn down. It didn't survive too long. This is the last one. Look at the size of the engine. It's the size of my hand, and that's all it is from there to there. Look how wimpy that is. Itty bitty springs, and then look what we did to the brake. The brake fell off. <laughs> I mean, we basically trashed it, but look at we gotta do a fly. The, yeah, hold the tire up next to this go kart. It's half the size of the, this go kart. Look at this height. Yeah, we're this is we're sending. We're sending somewhere. We're gonna be jumping the house. It looks like a beast. It looks like a like a what does it look like? It looks like you know someone's face with the nose chopped off. <laughs> it looks like a wild boar. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks it's like got a, like a hefty a stance. Boar. That's what it looks it's like. It's got the gas pedal, the brake pedal. Oh, is that the brake? Yeah, isn't it? It's like a see? cool like linkage there. I've not seen that. Look at this. It's literally all solid metal. <laughs> we got these shocks up front. Guys, check out the suspension <laughs> travel on this thing. Looks awesome. <laughs> We got the steering wheel on. Ryan, what are you doing over here? Do you want to work this? Why, what are you doing? I have to clean up the garden a little bit. Actually? Yeah. For what? For fun. Try to jetpack around the house? Yeah. <laughs> that would be sick. I'm like riding it. How do I turn it off? Look at that. Adjustable seat. Wait. Oh yes. my god, it's the little things. But we're all gonna things. obviously go full. We're on the bigger and better things with a go kart like the Mud Monster. Yeah, we're gonna see if a, uh, an adult can actually ride this. I think you got plenty of room. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, yeah. that's comfortable. Oh my god, dude. I feel like I'm in one of these Hummers. You're right basically now. driving like a mini Doom Buggy. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. dude, this is gonna rip this so is fast. Gonna be so awesome. ah! <laughs> oh, I can't wait, guys. Out with the old little green go kart that we were launching, in with the new front and rear. Well, I can't believe what that one can provide. I don't even want to begin to believe what this can do. <laughs> yeah, guys, we're gonna give you the honest review. We're not gonna hold back. If it's great, we're gonna tell you. And if it's not, you're gonna find out here once we get this thing ripping. Carter, you know what you gotta open now? 
Just the go kart tech review channel. Yeah. <laughs> All we do is get go karts yeah. unboxed. I'm gonna be sick. All right, check this out, guys. We have the kill switch right here. Push that in. Boom. On off. All right, I'm gonna sit in it for the first time. Yeah. Does it have gas? Oh, it's so soft. It's sitting in it. No way. Oh I love the. Oh, it's like a Stand long. Your feet. See if it, the, the sit's good. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, easy. Oh my God, you're designed for this. Yeah, it's a great size, actually. She's thirsty, guzzling. <laughs> Absolutely, guzzling. <laughs> guzzling. So that's the biggest thing, guys. Is this is a four-stroke engine, twice the displacement. You can see how much bigger the engine is. It's huge. The last engine was like the size of my hand. It was like a small, like a small football. <laughs> It's definitely an off-road machine, whereas the other one could not go off-road whatsoever. Now it's time to... Let's see what Bailey can do. <laughs> I gotta say, the suspension is nice, just bouncing around. You're cruising, bro. It's Whoa, all right, Matt. I haven't seen a backflip out of you since Lazar came around. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have to put it to off, and then off is on on this cart. No, every day is April Fool, right? <laughs> Let her rip. There it goes, mud monster. It's not bad. It's a lot quieter, but it's just, it's still not that, for it geared that low, it, it doesn't, it's like, it's still kind of slow off the start. There he goes, around the pool deck, into the backyard with the mud monster, 98 cc. I want to jump it right into the pool. What do you think? That's, that was amazing. Yeah. And when you remove the govern, Give it to me. Let me get a run. What do yeah. I do? Just, just the feel drive. of it overall. It's so on? much more work. Yeah, the suspension's nice. Is it on? All right, so off is on and on is off. <laughs> no, it's not. It, it is. Really? It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I thought that was a joke. No, it's literally backwards. Yeah. All right. Go, Pronti. Go, Pronti. Here goes Ryan. Yes! All right, so the clip that you guys probably didn't know is that we have a little bit of flashback on the clip of us coming into the driveway. There was a car out front. They were driving by seeing the house being pink and they were absolutely shook that they actually were reversing. When they saw us pull in, they were like, oh, that's their house with the go-kart? Oh boy. Oh my God, when you're on open ground, you can fly. Wow. Yo, all right, someone else, you dude, that's nuts. When you're on flat ground, you rip. I need a, a double team. We're doing a, a wheelie sesh. A wheelie sesh? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Bailey, hop on the back for a wheelie sesh. Too hard to balance. I'm too heavy for the back. <laughs> so we just spent the last 15 minutes studying the mechanics of how this works. There's a governor in there, which essentially makes it slower. So we took that off. We think it's gonna work. Let's turn it off, AKA on. Let's pull it and see how it does. No way, is this actually gonna work? I don't know. I will literally scream if this works. I heard it keep going. <laughs> to the streets! Yeah, I think we need to go on the street. To the streets! I think it should go faster. Here we go. Oh, he's already lost me. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I can't keep up! Whoa! Oh, it goes way faster now, guys. Hang on! Woo! Oh yeah, I feel like it goes 10 miles, oh! I think it goes like 10 miles an hour faster. <laughs> One paper clip gives you 10 miles an hour. What about two paper clips? I'm gonna give them a head start. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. There's Andrew. All right, Bailey's not ahead, I can't get him. I feel like it fell off, so 
I think the problem now is the throttle came loose. Oh, shoot. Yeah. See, I'm not even pulling oh, any no. throttle. That's loose. What the heck? <laughs> okay, well, uh... The throttle is too tight now. I'm gonna show you, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> we put the throttle on too tight. Oh, it feels fast. It feels real fast. Yep. Yep. Whoa, boy. Oh, yes. It's so good. We successfully did the governor override, and this thing is ripping. We have the 40cc off road scooter. Is that what they call it? Off-road scooter? It's a little mini motorcycle and it absolutely rips. We have these at my parents' house. We got one right here in this box and we're gonna do a super fast unboxing in three, two, one, whoop! And there it is, super fast unboxing. It actually wasn't much. I didn't actually film this because we were so excited. Well, Andrew was so excited. He just whipped it out of the box, screwed it together. It didn't take much. Just tightening the handlebars, put gas on it, and here it is in all of its beautiful glory. It's a little four-stroke mini speed bike. And uh, let me tell you, these things are fast. And Andrew just took it out and you can confirm it is fast. I've seen Very clips and I have not seen it in person. So this will be my first time seeing it in person. I believe it's extremely, it's a four-stroke. So we're about to go take over the neighborhood on the one wheel, the mud monster, and taking it out on its maiden voyage. <laughs> The little tiny red motorcycle. I'm really hyped about this thing. We got this on. This is another Walmart pickup. This was from Walmart. The last unboxing, actually all these unboxing is from Walmart. Guys, you need to, Walmart, if you're watching this, and I bet you are, you need to sponsor us. Send us more of these products to unbox and review because we are having a blast. Sponsor Team Roar. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Because we buy all the fun stuff from any website. We'll buy it from anywhere. Amazon. Oh wait, no, actually this one is from Amazon, but yeah, we'll buy it from Amazon, from Walmart, wherever we can find and get our hands on this stuff. <laughs> Before we get going, <laughs> look at him go. Just take a look at the size of this thing. It is absolutely tiny that I can't even sit in the seat. I mean, I kind of can, but I actually sit up on the edge. And what's good about the design is they put metal up there so it's strong even when you're sitting up on like the tail. Before he, he pulls that one, let's pull this one and see how it, she fires up. Oh, it's, it's so easy. Yes, I love these little toys, guys. These are one of my favorites. We're about to get Bailey started. Oh, beautiful. Yo, it's moving backwards. What? I think she's ready to go. We're ready. Here's the crew. This is a low and strong. Yes. Sounds like a war the best part about it is you can just pick it up. I love it. All right, guys, comment down below. What do you think is the fastest? The mini motorcycle, the one wheel, or the mud monster? My vote is this is probably the fastest. So if you guys commented down below that the little mini bike was faster, you're right. It's not faster off the line, but once it gets moving, this thing is unstoppable. That's insane. Yeah! Oh! This is upside! Yeah! This is awesome! Oh! <laughs> Once you're up to speed on this thing, it goes so fast. Yeah. And it just keeps going. <laughs> yep. Like nothing stops it. Dude, I'm so impressed with these things. They go so fast. I'm, a, I'm six foot, 180 pounds. This thing's probably meant for a 12 year old or something. I don't know. <laughs> 300 bucks, 
Walmart.com, dude, it's hard to beat. These things are incredible. And we haven't even broken out and tried the bike trailers for it yet, because this thing can pull two people, believe it or not. There it is, new package. CC two stroke. Yeah. There's gonna be so much power in a 52 cc. It's the Mototech Phantom 52cc pocket bike two stroke. So guys, this one is gonna be really exciting because the reviews said it's really fast and it's like way too small, like even smaller than the other pocket bikes he has. So we will see if it actually is smaller and if it's any faster. It is a two stroke, which tend to put out more power for size, but I am so excited. That's a two stroke? This is the two stroke. <laughs> 52cc t-shirt. I'm so excited to see the form factor of this one. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I see. That is a good way to do it. Yeah. Here we go. Official unboxing. Well, I still can't see anything. Oh, yes. Oh, it looks kind of big. It looks just as big as the other ones. You can definitely sit on the back. Yeah, it looks about the same size. It looks really cool, guys, as far as I can tell. It's smaller than this one. These ones are kind of sit high, so the gas tank is in the shape of a muffler. Yeah, I thought it was the muffler at first. Oh, yes. I love the color. I was gonna get pink. I was gonna get hot pink. <laughs> I decided to go blue because these ones were pink. We can get a sense of how fast they go based on the sprocket size, but it's also a two-stroke, so RPMs might be different. It's, it's a big slightly. sprocket. It's a bigger engine, too. 50, yeah, and a two-stroke. So this thing should potentially be way, way faster than the other ones we have. So the handlebars need to be turned out. They're not too hard to put together. It almost looks like it might be longer wheelbase. This thing's huge. It's plastic and solid, but yeah, once you sit down and crunch it, you're on metal. Foot pegs. <laughs> Give you an idea of size. This product, I think, only had one or two stars. Oh, dude, I can, I can ride this thing, no problem. Is it a daily? Absolute daily driver. <laughs> <laughs> is this your new daily to, to work and back? Yeah, this is. I'm gonna take this back to Virginia. <laughs> Just road trip it. Just see me going way. down. Dumb and dumber. Vegas. It's just like dumb and dumber. You got two people on there. Here it is. It's all set up and ready to go. We're gonna take it for the first drive. I think it's ready to go. Oh, it's warmed up for you. It sounds good. Oh my gosh, look at our team. I think I know what's in this one, and this is so exciting. Oh, it's heavy. Oh my gosh, be careful. Alright guys, let's let the unboxing begin. It looks like it's actually already unboxed. So, this was the right box. As soon as you guys think you know what it is, and I guess you might have seen the thumbnail, so... But comment down below as soon as you think you know what this is, because this is so cool. I guess I just gotta lift it all out. <sighs> yes. Oh, it's pink. <laughs> It's amazing, and it's so small. We're missing a front tire. Uh -oh. it's in here. Yeah, it is, okay. It doesn't look like there's too much assembly required, which is great, which means we can get riding super quick. All right, so we're done with the box. But here it is, guys. It's a pink scooter, or pink moped, or Vespa, or whatever these things are called. This is so cool, a little moped. Totally your style, too. Yeah, it's pink. I mean, you know how I like pink. I got pink like a Lambo back there. Oh, yeah. Pink is a pretty cool color. A lot of people think that pink is a girl's color, which it kind of is, but I think it's also a very cool color, especially the green. Oh, it's got tassels. Dude, look, it's even got a headlight. No that way. Works? No, I don't think so. Nah. <clears throat> Didn't read the instructions or anything, but I think it's pretty straightforward. Finger tight's good enough, right? <laughs> so what about a charger? Oh yeah, you know what? This probably pops open. Yeah. <clears throat> Should probably read the instructions. <laughs> hey, there they are. <laughs> well, we needed instructions to find the instructions. <laughs> All right. There's the owner's manual. <clears throat> you don't need that. And 
There are tools, okay, great. And the charger. This thing I think is gonna rip pretty fast. If not, we'll make it fast. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I think modding this to make it go like really fast would be sick. Yeah. Just putting the drifter car motor in this. <laughs> oh, it'll happen. <laughs> If any of them should go fast, it should be this one. <laughs> this is what would be hilarious. That kickstand's pretty nice. We can try and turn it before even putting it on the ground. Yeah, let's do that. We gotta peel off the tape. Oh, we are on. All right, let's get a nice rev with the back tire. Oh yeah, she's spinning. <laughs> All right, oh, here we go. It's a good form factor, it's very comfortable. <laughs> I will say, like, it's small, but like, I fit in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, you can tell it already has a ton of power. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, this is, this is better than the dirt bike. This thing is awesome. <laughs> That's sick. They can go really fast. <laughs> and if they're electric, it's like, they're like bikes. They can road trip them around. <laughs> this would be hilarious. Could you imagine going through the neighborhood on these? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Our whole crew with the tassels. Oh my gosh, those are so sick. I am, I'm actually, I really like this thing. All right, time for a top speed test. Yeah. Let's hit the road. Oh man, it's so cool. <laughs> he can't make it up the hill. <laughs> He's literally out of power. He has to zigzag in order to make it up the hill at this point. That's so funny. Well, the good thing is, he's gonna have a lot of speed when he comes back down. Here he comes. I hear the, I hear the bell. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> it's kinda fast when you go downhill. I love the tassels. It's pretty cool, you wanna try it? <laughs> sure. <laughs> it says sweet pea on the back. <laughs> I gotta say, you know, out of all the unboxing and different go-karts and stuff, I'm having so much fun on this. It's comfortable, unlike the pocket bikes and the little like Razor uh, dirt bikes that we have. This one, it's like, you know, it's it's fun. It's, it, it's comfortable to sit on and I think, well one, we gotta charge, I think the battery is low and two, we can easily upgrade it, just like the drifter cart. We can make this thing go way faster. We can probably make it do wheelies, burnouts, and it'd be hilarious to then road trip this all the way across to LA from here to maybe like Liz's house or Liz's just, or like some, I don't know, maybe take it to the beach or something. Here we go. Where is he? Oh, there he goes. I hear the bell. Oh, he's gonna come flying around that corner. Yes, there he is. Oh you my God. Flying. Woo! That's so funny, guys. <laughs> Something about it being a little pink, like girly moped makes it so much fun, especially if we modify it and we make it go like super fast. We could be like racing it down the road, keeping up with traffic and stuff. I think we need another one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so nice. It's comfortable, right? It's great. It is an absolute road trip machine. <laughs> so, guys, here is the full tour. Tons of storage space underneath the seat. The seat closes. And here is the full look around on this thing. I think it's a road trip machine. I think if we mod it, it's gonna go so fast that we could actually do a really cool video with it. It's got a great kickstand. The wheel comes up, the tassels are hilarious. I think it's awesome. We could even mod the this to be real, just drill from like, put a little hole in an LED in there. It's got everything else it needs. Yeah. The reflector and the cap. Yeah. Just put a little bulb in that, make it actually functional. Let's see if we can make it in the, uh, up the driveway. <laughs> Full speed, go, go, go. That still counts, you made it. I think we gotta get more. Yes, we unboxed another one, guys. Look at this. It's so funny. <laughs> Can you even see it under me? <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're floating. Andrew's basically floating. This is the other thing that we unboxed, guys, and it's so small. <laughs> look at this thing. Whoa, <laughs> look at it rip. <laughs> Wait, wait. Burn out, it just polishes the hair. <laughs> oh my. Dude, it looks freakishly small. Next to you, it's so funny. Here we go. Oh. All right. So we gotta make this go really fast. Yeah. Yeah, I'm surprisingly comfortable. This is awesome. Lisa, let's go do a speed test. Yeah. I'm flying, this is so fast. Woo! Woo! 
do a wheelie. Yeah, it's pretty fast down though. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Very comfortable. Yeah, it's more comfortable than our other pocket bikes for some reason. It's great. Yeah. And it's smaller. Yeah, and the best part <laughs> the best part is you just pick it up, carry it with you. <laughs> Literally put it in your pocket. Well, you could, all right, so the motor is mounted to this. So you could possibly flip it and mount it on the other side where the batteries are and get rid of the batteries there. Oh, mount it back here? Yeah, and then extend the chain to reach the motor on this side. Because uh, this side is wide open. So you could fit a fat motor in the middle uh, and then find some place for batteries, maybe like in here, like cut this off and put the batteries here or something. It's so quiet. I'm just coasting right now. <laughs> Woo! This is a moment we've been waiting for that Andrew has been waiting for. I finally got a one wheel. So we're doing a little unboxing. I'm so hyped about this. Brand new in the box. It was about $2,000, believe it or not. Very expensive, but it's gonna be worth it. Welcome to the ultimate riding experience. We got some stickers. Some XO, yeah, until you push it too far. So I got some stickers, looks like they did. That's true, we gotta run Oh, first look, it's so fresh. Oh my God. Blue anodized aluminum probably, wow. Take it all in because it's the last time you're gonna see it this clean. <laughs> Wait, what color is yours now, right there? Right, I'm gonna lift her out. There she is. Wow, I got the grip tape on it already. Look at that tire. Oh, it's a bald tire. You got the treaded one. Mm hmm. It's kind of, whoa, look at that. My fingers stick into it. Oh, this is a different tire than what they originally came with. This is a really cool tire. The new one. Yeah. On. Turned right on. It's got some charge. Let's see if she's gonna do it. Right out of the box, does it work? <laughs> oh, oh, it's so smooth. Oh, it's stable. <laughs> it's gonna be tire tracks all over the house. I don't think it's supposed to sound like that. Look how sticky the tire is, it just mopped the floor. It's like a lit roller, that's disgusting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was fresh a second ago. <laughs> like I said, last time you'll see it clean. Got the handle right there. Time to charge, we're hitting a fat road trip tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should do a fat road trip tonight. <laughs> how do I know how much battery this has? Get the get the iPhone app. Does it tell you on the lights or something? No, you gotta get the app. You let us have 40 minutes full charge supercharger. Yeah, I have a supercharger we can well, plug, plug in real quick. Right now, but we should hit a minute road trip. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, all right, so the trick with charging though, don't plug that in yet. The trick is- Plug this in first? Yeah, because this is a replaceable cord. Okay. Right? Yeah. When you plug it in, there's always an arc. Every time you plug it in, there's an arc. Okay. So you wanna put this in first, so you're not arcing your pins. Okay. It's on the other side. Okay. And then you plug in the wall. Yeah, I mean, it's it'll take a long time for it to kill it or do anything bad to it, but it's just a good thing to think about because you can arc this all day and it wears out these pins and that's fine because you can replace that. All right guys, first time taking the one wheel out of the house. Andrew and I are gonna go for a mini road trip. This one's actually gonna be pretty legit. I got 100% charge from the supercharger. I feel pretty good on it. It's looking sick. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Are Yo, are you up there? Yeah, I'm up here. I thought you went home. I already changed, I already went home. Oh, I didn't know you came back. Bailey's coming on the road trip with us. We got the scooter from Tag and it's got a full charge. What a way to end the week, guys. We are, uh, it's Friday night. It's unbelievable. It's Andrew's birthday tomorrow. We got two XRs, an electric scooter. That thing goes fast. Come on, Bailey, yeah, let's go. From a four to the three to the three. To the flat two, it's a floppy two. Two, oh! <laughs> Woo, roller coaster. Let's go! Yo, Team Rar through the window, look at that. Sweet. If you guys already don't know, you gotta go to teamrar.com, get yourself a hoodie. That's what they, they keep us warm. We got Team Rar shorts right there, drying out from the pool That's jumps. Using cliff jumping earlier. Woo! All right, squad, let's go. And we are off road tripping. Woo! This time we're not on mini bikes, we're not on go karts, we're on electric vehicles with the one wheels and the electric scooter. There he is. It's about time. 
Look at him fly. Oh my gosh, you're going so fast. He can't stop. He just bombed in a hill. Oh my gosh. We were waiting for Andrew because he couldn't make it down the hill and he came flying by. Bailey's got a little off road. Oh my gosh. Not a chance. We've never been up this way. I don't know if it's a park up here or if it's like construction. We're gonna go check it out. Oh, it's like a park up here. I don't know what this is. I mean, it kind of looks like a house, but it definitely looks like a park. Oh my God, this is made for the dirt monster. Yeah. It's made for the one wheel once I uh, lose some battery. You think I could bomb on this? Are you still at 100% in here? Yeah, like 99% still. You think I should bomb on this? Yeah, you got it on the scooter. I don't like this word. Y'all don't seem too confident, it seems like... You 100%, you can also go this way too, it's not even bad. Alright, I see where I'm going. You ready? Here you go. Yeah! Brakes! Brakes! Oh, he's going so fast. Oh... He had to hop it! You hopped it! Yo, that was steep. That was a lot more than I thought. Wow! Andrew's battery is stuck at 100% and the problem is if you go downhill and it recharges going down, it overcharges and it will shut off and you can fall. So he's trying to burn battery, but we got a hill climb here. So then I put an extra big battery. He's got an extra mod. Because so Andrew has to mod everything. Nothing can be stopped. I got on this board. I'm at 2,666 miles. Sheesh. I'm at one first mile. mile I got my first mile on my one wheel, yeah! <laughs> Just 2,000 to go to catch up to Andrew's board. Are you not climbing right now? I'm You're struggling. Oh we might need to tow you. I mean, I can probably grab your handlebar. Yeah, you can burn his bat. Yeah, burn your battery, Andrew. Grab the center. This is what happens when you get the, the handicap assist. <laughs> this is what happens when you can't ride a one wheel. <laughs> it's like a commercial. <laughs> Go one well, I'm wheel. Our, our bodies are still, but we're moving. <laughs> Teamwork. <laughs> All right, Batman, push. Alright, you're good. Yeah, we're good. You're good here. No. That was basically the steepest hill uh, that the whole way. Yeah. Although we get into some crazy ones up here soon. I'll show you by Dr. Bill's house. <laughs> Woo! Peekaboo! We got the views! Yeah! Oh, so today, guys, we're just gonna be talking. I'm not even gonna look at where I'm going. You know, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna put one hand on one hand. Oh! This next segment is is uphill, hosted by Bailey Payne. Today, this in on this forecast, we have a bright sky of about 72 Fahrenheit. On this next episode of Climbing Uphill. <laughs> this just in, Bailey struggles to go up mountain via electric scooter, gets pulled via air wheel. <laughs> air wheel. One wheel. Yeah, these houses, guys, as we roll up here, are just getting crazy. They're so hidden through the hedges this way. Yo, there's oh, Phil. There's I saw Phil's house. It's massive. You gotta look through right here. Doctor. Dr. Phil, look at that. Oh, up on the hill? Dr. Phil's house. Oh. All right, good luck. <laughs> Yo, I don't know about your brakes. Oh my gosh, this is so steep. All right, slow it down. And this one wheel does, oh. Yo, this is steep. All right guys, I almost missed, but this is a sweet lookout right here. Woo, city lights. Yes, look at that guys, that's amazing. You can actually see downtown LA through some of the fog. I think it's uh, not just pollution, I'm pretty sure that's a marine layer, but that's downtown LA right there. We're gonna put the recharge to the test. I'm currently at 69% battery. We got the steep hill and it's supposed to recharge as you go downhill. So we'll see if I go up to like 70, 75%, I don't know. It's not that big of a hill. Oh, 70. All right, I got 1%. You got a car, watch out. Whoa, we got a car. <laughs> that Bailey just bombing hills. Sheesh. I gotta say that scooter, as he zips, oh, oh my gosh, woo, careful, I almost fell. I was gonna say guys, comment down below, what would you rather ride, the one wheels that are faster uphill, having, there's, you know, there's advantages, uh, but then the scooter bombs down the hill, and again, has handlebars, it's a little bit more stable, it's probably not gonna fall off, and it's got its advantages as well. You had to run it out? The 
Virginia truck runway. You know when the brakes go up? Yeah, yeah you go them up. All right, so I'm actually vlogging. But it's got my light on, so it's actually even safer so cars can see me because it is getting a bit dark. Andrew's got some headlamps on. I actually have a headlamp too. Oh, we're back out to a main road. He's got to make sure the cars see us as we go before we get to the next sidewalk. The sidewalk stopped connecting, so we were kind of forced to come out here is not the best. Do not try this at home. Bailey is going crazy. Get out of the road, you maniac! What? Oh. Wait, are you Yo, cops are coming, dude. Cops are coming. We got another toe up the hill. Into the darkness. Into the darkness. Left or right? Oh, wait. Oh, wait, we're back home. Dude, I had no idea connected like that. I was like, where are we? We're back out front of the house. That it's was a full charge. It's, it's a game over. That was a I made trip. it literally at one bar in that whole trip. <laughs> oh, you're empty now. I mean, that's how I was cruising when I left. <laughs> are you serious? No, was I it sitting on one? It was, no, it sat on three, but when I started pulling the gas, it was one to one. But it recharged as I was going down the stairs. I mean, it makes sense he's empty now. Wow. That's crazy. Well, I, I, thought, it, I thought it had this, more range. This yeah. thing's a beast. And we got to walk in this handlebar thing because when I hit that curb, it dropped and I almost went. Look, you can see it's crooked. That's the wheel straight. Yeah. And there's the handlebar. So imagine when you were side. dragging me and yeah. that's scary. Woo! You guys know that I love Lamborghinis. I got one here. I got another one there and other crazy cars. But today, Bailey is about to learn, as well as you guys, Woo! that I got another crazy thing to add to the e collection. I heard it was a rumor, but I have to see it with my own eyes because I don't think it's even true. It's Just like this. The this little cyber crazy. quad. This is cool, but it's a, it's a vehicle like this, but it's even cooler and it starts with a B. Uh, is it a Bailey mobile? <laughs> it's a Bugatti baby. No, you don't. Yeah, it's a Bugatti. Where? I literally just got a brand new Bugatti, and it's not clickbait. It's legit. It's a real Bugatti, and it's the cheapest Bugatti that money can buy. Cheapest really? in the country. How much? Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you. Let's go check it right, out. Well, I'm going to drive this Tesla over, because I don't believe you. He's driving the Cyber Quad. I'm going to drive my ATV with the new rims. He's going the wrong way. We gotta go to this garage. If you guys have been watching the channel, you guys know that I love crazy, rare, and ridiculous rides. So that's why this Bugatti is next on the list. But of course, I got a crazy monster truck. This thing is amazing. It literally crushes cars. Here we go! Oh! Oh my gosh! But we're definitely moving up in life with this next one. And we're pulling up to the garage where it lives, in here. We're getting closer. Woo! All the way up. In this garage, you guys will see more of our crazy cars. This one's Andrew's. This one's Matt's. This is Hunter's. And then I got a dirt bike. And then these two are Matt's. This car is Matt's. And then this one is one of my newest ones. I'm not even sure if I've even shown you guys this one, but this is a brand new little turbocharged mini rally car. Of course, we got the little red wagon. We have another race car. This is Matt's. And we are moving on. We're actually getting a lot closer to the Bugatti right now. We got Liz's new mini Jeep there. Another car that we're working on. Carter, where's this Bugatti at? It's, I don't see any Bugatti anywhere. There's a Bugatti, a real one. And I'm not even clickbait. I literally got it from Bugatti official the actual place, and uh, it's right here. Check it out, this is it, legit Bugatti branding. And the first thing you're gonna know is that it's a little bit small, and it's not a toy, this is a le legit Bugatti, but Carter, we gotta open it up. There's no Bugatti in here, No, hundred percent, it's a real Bugatti. Carter, you can't drive anything in here this size. It's a legit Bugatti vehicle, I promise. I'm not even capping. Let's go open it up and see what's inside. Ooh. Oh, I'm seeing something crazy. Oh, look at that box. That was just a shipping box. This is where all the magic happens. Oh, it's heavy. It's a heavy Bugatti. Carter, I don't think you can pull it out. Oh, look at that arm muscle going. Yeah. Yes, sir. Been hitting the raw gym. She oh, Bugatti oh. scooter? It's a Bugatti scooter, but legit Bugatti branded. Guys, this isn't like some kind of toy or replica. This is actually made by Bugatti. Look at that tent right there. Ooh. So that means I am literally a proud owner of a Bugatti. Not a car, but a two-wheel electric scooter. And it even got the logo that projects. Look at that. 
Well, I, I don't believe it until I see it, you know? You gotta keep unboxing it. I'm actually hyped. I bought this, like, as soon as they released it, I jumped on it because they are gonna sell out. Wait, how long ago did you buy this? Like, two months ago. Sheesh, took a while. I was one of the first people to buy one of these because I figured it was gonna sell out and the price is gonna skyrocket because they're limited oh, they're edition. hype, yeah. How many were made? I don't know. Y'all, someone on the YouTube video, find out how many of these are made and comment down below because I want to know. This looks rare. Hey, don't damage the box because- I, I already did. <laughs> no, already Carter. It's like, if that was a real Bugatti car, you know how much money that would have been? It would have been like a hundred grand off because <laughs> the box ripped. Oh, oh that blue stove. <laughs> stove, you're missing out. Oh. You I'm pushing thing. out on this side. Oh, oh that broke my heart. That's fifty thousand dollars. Oh, I just lost fifty grand in value. I broke the box. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Oh my quality. gosh. Look at the Oh god. That sticker's probably worth like a hundred dollars. Yeah, let's preserve it. Let's get, get it off get it off strategically. Yo, I gotta put this we gotta put this something. Put it on one of the cars. Oh, I should put it on my red I, one. Yeah, no, put it on the, the the turbo, the new one. Right on the front. Let them know it's a Bugatti. Mini Bugatti? I was it's thinking it like, would go right oh there. Oh my gosh, it'll look terrible. Bugatti. Bugatti. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looks real. This box is legit crazy. I've never seen a box just like this. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh, no way. Whoo! This unboxing experience is insane. It's a plot. A work of art created and engineered to deliver a new oh, wave of mobility. No. Dude, I can't believe I'm gonna daily drive a Bugatti around the house. This is crazy. Oh, oh, no way. Time to take this box out, see what's in this. I wonder if there's like an instruction manual. <gasps> oh, yes. comes with a Rolex? Check it out. <laughs> it says, a work of art created and engineered to deliver a new wave of mobility and a transit revolution. Let's see what this, it's the owner's manual. I literally have a Bugatti's owner's manual. Authenticity certificate card. That means this Bugatti is 100% legit. I'm about to blur this out so you guys can't copy it. But guys, I am officially in the Bugatti family. We got some tools in here. This has gotta be the charger. It's just a high quality box, Carter. It is. Came from Bugatti. And here is the actual Bugatti itself. Oh, I can't scrape it. Don't scratch the new Bugatti. It looks like it should be pretty straightforward to put together. I mean, Cardi, you've built robots in the past. Yeah. So I think you could build a Bugatti scooter that's already built. Just putting it together. <laughs> it's got the letter B on it, though, look. It's got the B. It's got the B for Big Benz. Oh, don't break this. <laughs> that's a lot. Do y'all see how many holes that was? Look at that. Sheesh. Looks like a Ritz cracker. Carter, the real question is, does it feel like a Bugatti? I think it does. The build quality is insane. The paint is actually. How are the official. handlebars? It's official Bugatti blue. It's got the velvet handlebars. Actually, I actually seen that they have turn signals. That's what it looks like. I'm looking. That looks like a. Yeah, and on the there. back, I've like blinkers. <laughs> really? Yeah. I think I'm gonna put two bolts in. So I got an extra screw. I'm not reading the manual, so I don't know if that's extra or I'm supposed to put it somewhere. But I got all. Oh, the Carter, does in. it not go in here? I think that's supposed to be a quick release latch. Uh, oh, you got the Bugatti rims? Oh, don't sleep. It's time, baby. Kickstand up. Power on. Pull that sticker off so you can read. I, I gotta say, long press, one press, headlight function. There it is. The hologram. Yo. Wait, put Bugatti on my foot. Oh. Ride it in style, baby. It looks like we have a good charge. Let's give it a little little test. Solid bell. Oh, there she goes. Oh, I'm moving. Right, car is going kind of quick right now. I think this is way too fast in the garage. Oh! <laughs> That's not too fast. Yo, it's quick. We gotta go outside, I think. This thing might go fast. Nah. Yeah. Nah, car hey guys, comment down below, Carter, stop being scared. Just yeah. rip it in the garage and send it. Oh! oh. oh. She's gone. Here we go. Oh, Carter, that does not look that fast. It doesn't look that fast, or maybe I'm just blind because he does have a lot of land going that way. So I'm going to have to really feel for myself to let you know if it's fast or if it's slow. Oh, let's see. Woo! All right, well, you know, you know it has to happen now. 
I have to sling it. All right, send it. There goes Bailey. There he goes, ripping the Bugatti. First time ever touching or driving a Bugatti is in my backyard. There he is, it's Bugatti. Solid. Yes. Beautiful blue Bugatti. The blue with the green, I know that pops. I gotta say, I thought it would be like crazy, super fast, but it's not. It's just about regular speed. I mean, it goes pretty quick, but it's no like 100 mile an hour scooter or anything like that. It's just Bugatti. It looks amazing. It's got the Mark, logos no. on it. Why was our way turn left? What? Okay, if I want to go right? Blinkers, go left again. Ooh, we got the blinkers, got blinkers. Look at the tail lights. Yeah. It's definitely got some cool features. I think it looks amazing. The aesthetics, the unboxing experience was totally worth it. But it's not like 100 miles an hour. It just goes just like a, your regular bird scooter or it electric is good scooter. It's jumping, mostly. Oh, it's heavy. It's heavy. Yeah, you can't jump that. Yeah. It does fold down so you can put it in your trunk. I mean, it's pretty cool. If you want to be like the fashionable scooter goer i mean i guess that's the move bugatti is definitely the best you can get it's so yeah, sick and in the team Mars shirt it makes it pop and in front of that sky Woo! looks photoshopped out here Woo!